How's it going? What's going on? What's up, guys? Get a little mic check, make sure you guys can hear us okay. Let's see here. We see Chrissy Rigney in there. What's up, Chrissy? Liz? Trav and Corey, or Corey. I don't know which one it is for Craig Diggers. Yeah, Liz is in there. Jay Bird. Michelle Anuska. That's my sister. Be nice. Sherry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Garcia's been in here. He was the first one to comment, I think. Hi, Bentley. It's good to see you, man. All right. So, this is our, uh, this is our first auction. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, been uh, we've been really enjoying uh, Travis's and Corey's stuff, and you know they were nice enough to let us go ahead and uh, you know we asked them if they'd mind us doing this, and you know maybe once a month on a day that they're not having it, so they let us go ahead and do that, and uh, so we're excited. And we've been getting into bottle dig in the past year, uh, mainly metal detect. You guys, if you're not subscribed to our channel, you can check out some of our videos. But we've been really getting into the dumps, uh, privies, mm -hmm. and We've just been having a blast with it. So we've been kind of hoarding some bottles from our digs <laughs> and purchasing some. And we really enjoy the op uh, auctions that Travis and Corey do. So we figured we'd, you know, it'd be fun for us to get together. And, you know, they, they have a great community over there. And we appreciate you guys, you know, coming over too. And It's going to be fun. Yeah. So hopefully you guys have a, you know, we'll get some good bottles for you guys. And uh, we have a good time. So. Let's see here. We got 17 people in there. 10 likes so far. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Bear with us. It might be a little bit uh bumpy road. We're getting used to it, but uh, we'll figure it out together. What's Travis up, said, what's up? What's up, Travis? Oh, man. Do you get out digging today at all? Any of you guys get out digging? Oh, Charlie Harley, Charlie. the legend. There you go, Liz. She said, stop chewing that gum. I'll throw it in the garbage. <laughs> She'll learn that public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, let us know if we can change something or, or uh, if we need to zoom in or zoom out or change the clock or whatever. We're just going to take a couple minutes to let people gather in and uh, make sure everyone sent in their info. Um, we have... Drippy lip auctions at gmail.com if you haven't sent your information yet. Um, but we'll get started in a couple minutes here. Uh, we'll get everybody's lag checked together and start it up. Yeah. This is um this is dirty burger too. This is uh yeah. if you <laughs> put a face to the name from some of the auctions and I'm the guy that comments on our copper popper and uh this our buddy Tyler. He recently got into it too and got on the auctions and I think he won his first bottle last week yes, from uh, those guys. Yeah, so right there. starting right there. to get the bug and it's a thrill, man. Getting those auction, those numbers, getting down to it, and then having Debs or or or, uh, or uh, Any, yeah. Liz or someone snipe you, man. It's crazy yeah. <laughs> getting that last bid in. Uh, it's nuts. So, all right, I guess we can. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to turn around or we can? Yeah, we can turn it around and start showing off a couple of the bottles that we're bidding tonight. Um, Mike's got his computer right next to it, so we're also watching, you know, our live stream on his computer, um, so that we can make corrections and see how the lag is. Um, Sherry just sent her stuff. We so. got your info, Sherry. Thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna turn around and maybe we can. Uh, we'll switch you guys around here. Let me turn this guy on. Let me see here. Bear with us. All right. Well, we'll show you guys some of the bottles that we have here. Just to go ahead and start, we have quite a bit. Some sodas. Uh, some. We got some old whiskey, some poisons. We got a bunch more, uh, you know, over in a different part of the room. It's just a little hard to bring this whole tripod over. But uh, like I said, it's going to be the same format as uh, Travis's and Corey's. Yeah, for Crick Digger. So, let's see here. So, let me check and see. Um, like I said, Sherry, we got yours. Let's see. Trav, if you're on your phone, to hit the like button, just X out of the chat and then like the uh, video. 
and then open up the live chat again. Okay, let's see here. All right, um, you want to go ahead and start off on one? You can just uh, yeah. You want me to got. run it first? We're just gonna yeah. do um the five, five, and five. Um, so I'll run my first five bottles. Uh, it'll be in dollar increments. Um, so no like one dollar and fifty cents. We'll just go dollar by dollar, and uh, if it if it gets high enough to fifty dollars, we'll go by five dollar increments. Um, but. $2. Is it $2 or $5? Two, yeah, $2, yeah, $2, $2 increments. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, Mike, do you want to do the lag check yeah, for everybody? Yeah, we'll go ahead and um, start that, guys. And we'll get your lags in. Okay. I will, when I start the timer, you guys go ahead and start uh, chucking in your lag checks. And we'll, so just type lag into the chat, and we'll whenever we see it, we will... Uh, Call out your username. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start it. Yeah, so go ahead, start kicking out those lags. Lag Liz. Lag Tanya. Lag Chrissy. Lag Shamrock. Lag Bruce. Lag Chrissy. Lag Valerie. Lag Sherry. Yeah, just kick out those lags and then whenever we. Lag Paul. Whenever we read out the time, that's that's how long. Lag Luke, that's lag how, Sherry. Just count those seconds. Lag Jeff. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much for checking in tonight. <laughs> All right, Bentley. Lag Crick Diggers. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, just type in. Uh, Type in lag. So, shall just type in lag again, and when we see it, we'll lag Lori. We'll read it out. Lag Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> lag Jay. Lag Sherry. Lag Jerry. Sherry Jerry. <laughs> Trav, he's one of my uh, students, one of my elementary students on his. I think it's his brother's account. <laughs> Okay, good to see you, Bentley. We miss you too, buddy. I hope you're doing good in school. <laughs> Hi, Brody. It's good to see you too. <laughs> A couple of my students just want to make sure that you guys, uh, you guys keep it clean, and we have a PG rating on this on this uh, live stream. <laughs> Lag Mark. Yeah, I think you can just zoom in on it with just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we're we're noobs. So. All right. Okay, Jimbo, you want to start it off? Or? Yeah. Let's get it rolling. All right. I'll get out of the driver's seat here. Let's see. You can just stay there, honestly. Okay. If you just want to okay, hand cool. me the foley's. This one. Sorry, buddy. All right. So, first off, we got a beautiful med it's an aqua blue foley's honey and tar foley and company from chicago usa um doesn't seem to have any damage i cleaned it the best that i could um you can see the seam run about three quarters of the way up so it is a blown and mold style probably late 1890s to 1910 ish um if you guys just want to start this one off at whatever you want, toss out a number and we can start the bid from there. You want me to turn the spinner on for you? Yeah, sure. We got our... fancy. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. No, I'm good. Thank you. $20 bid at from Paul Garcia. So let's, uh, let's start the clock and uh, we'll get it going. Hit it once more. All right, we we got twenty dollars start from Paul Garcia, so I need twenty one dollars, twenty one dollars or more. We got about a five second lag too right now, guys, on our end. Yeah. You can zoom in on it if you want, or whatever you want. To yeah, do, we buddy. can zoom in a little bit. Oops. 
Skitter. Travis said nice clock. Thanks, buddy. I think it was like twenty bucks on a uh, twenty bucks on uh, Amazon. Fix the clock. She can barely see. Yeah, it. I can. Uh, maybe it's a little too bright. Turn down Let me the know brightness if you guys can a little see bit. That. Is that better? Ooh. <laughs> Paul said he's getting yeah. the first. He's in it. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Good luck. <laughs> this is a historical moment right now. This right. is the <laughs> first bottle run by Drippy Lip Auctions. Thank you guys yeah. so much for coming and checking out our first auction, supporting us. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. W one minute left on yeah. the clock. We have um, stickers too, right? Yes. For, that go with every uh, bottle tonight. We yes. got these little stickers. So, so for every bottle that you win, you will get a free copper pop. Or I'm sorry, not copper poppers. <laughs> uh, drippy lip sticker. I posted some pictures of them uh, on our Facebook and Instagram, and they came out really nice. They're good quality <laughs> stickers. Um, they're pretty cool. Yeah. Paul wants to get this one bad, man. It's a beautiful bottle. It's got really nice patina. Um, I dug this out of a privy. Um, it, uh, like I said, probably 1890s. All right, we're coming down to it. We got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Lag time. Five, four, three, two one jeff jolly for 25. 25 good job jeff congratulations man thank you so much all right let's go ahead and add that in there yeah let's log this so what's this one again here this is the foley's honey and tar and that went for for 25 25 to bucks. mr paul or uh jeff jolly right, 25 bucks <laughs> jeff all right, sweet. All right. Awesome, Jeff. Thank you very yeah, much, Jeff. Yeah, we appreciate it. All Let's right. Let's see here. Which one do you uh, want just next, Jimbo? Us... Let's do the Hires Root Beer. So this is a bottle I got out of a collection, but I've also dug a couple of these. Uh, this is a Hires Household Extract. For making root beer at home. Manufactured by the Charles Hires Company from Philadelphia, PA, USA. Um, I think this was a type of syrup that you would add to soda water to make root beer, which is pretty cool. Um, they come in blown and mold varieties as well as machine made i'm fairly certain this is a blown and mold um if anyone else knows any information about our bottles throughout the night too feel free to toss it in the chat um <laughs> we know our select limited amount of information about it but if you know us we'd love to learn too so um Go ahead, toss out a starting bid for this one. We'll start at, at we'll start at five bucks. Um, whoever's got five on it. Let's see here. Uh, sure. uh, I would say that's probably turn of the century, nineteen hundred to nineteen twenty. Um, that's my guess for a, a year on that. All right, we got Chrissy Rigney for six dollars. We'll start the clock. Two minutes on the clock. Bruce we got Bruce at 10. 10. Let me see if we got Bruce's info. Yeah, let's make sure we got your information, Bruce. Yeah, I don't see it. We don't see it? Okay. The Bruce, if you could send a... Uh, we got Sherry at 11. A An email to drippylipauctions at gmail.com with your PayPal information as well as your address. Um, then we can, we can start bidding. Um, yeah, we got... We Chrissy at 11. Sherry's Sherry's, uh, Sherry, ahead yeah, yeah. Sherry's ahead of her right now. Chrissy's now at 12. Chrissy at 12. We need $13. Do a little light show if you want. Yeah, you want sure. The, right there, click that. We'll little. do a little light show for you. Show what it looks like with just a single light underneath it. It's a beautiful aqua bottle. 
looks gorgeous with the I've seen people with display cases with just uh, rail lights underneath so it, all, it glows from underneath the bottles it looks gorgeous $12 right now we need $13 or more less than a minute on the clock you got 35 people in here thanks guys for uh wow I didn't think we. I didn't. I honestly didn't think we'd get that many in no. our first one. So we really appreciate you guys in here. And uh, that's like killer. I, like I said, we got some cool stuff. We even got a couple little relics later. We're probably gonna uh, try and toss in, uh, not just bottles. So if you guys want to stick around for that too. Like I said, we we like metal detecting, and uh, you know some of you guys seem to like some of that in the relics too. So. Fifteen seconds left. I need thirteen dollars or more, please. Thank you. Yeah, Bruce, that's the email you need to send your PayPal info to. Yep. Five seconds. All right, going into lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we got Sherry for 13. Sherry for 13 on the highest root beer. Thank you so much, Sherry. Beautiful bottle. I'll show you guys some of the uh, the drippy lip stickers that will come with your bottles as well. Um, they're super good quality. Came out a little tiny, but they're it's cool. I have one on the back of my phone, so you can uh, you can put them on you know your car or just. I ask that you don't litter. <laughs> yeah, so that's something that'll come with with your bottle purchases as well. See here, Flint Lock City Center. Well, let me take a look real Flint quick. Flint Lock. Okay, yeah, we got a couple. So we got Christy Stewart's info. Did she send it? Is that uh, if she's in? If Christy, if you're in here, is that email you sent from? Is that your PayPal email? Christy Stewart. Let's see here. Christy Stewart. Yeah, those stickers you got. I really like those. Yeah, they came out really good. Jerry. Do we have Jerry? I think we Jerry's got, already on there. Yeah. He? Uh, He's no. not, but I recognize the name, obviously. Mm -hmm. from, uh... So, uh, Jerry Bloom, we got your info. Thank you very much. And let's see who else. We just got a, yep. Flintlock. Yep, yep. Flint, you're good to go, too. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Okay. All right, let's get our next bottle going. Got a machine made Welch's grape juice. So I'm a, a uh, an elementary school teacher, as you can see. Some of my students are uh, in the in the chat. Um, I see, grew up drinking Welch's grape juice and stuff. Um, so I thought this was really cool when I dug this. I dug this out of a dump with Tyler. Um, the dump we dig has a bunch of little juice bottles. So. Pretty cool. It's one of the, ones, the only ones I've seen with Welch's on it. Yeah, we find a lot of slick ones, but this one actually has Welch's juice, which is cool. A little squat bottle. Um, get a little rotation on that. Um, oh, that's awesome, Mark. What do you teach? Ah, oh, cool, Christy. That's awesome, too. God bless you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun, man. My mom's a teacher, too, and it's in our blood. It's, it's a lot of fun. I love teaching the young minds. <laughs> um, go ahead, toss out a number, and we can get a start on this. Oh, that's cool, Mark. Awesome. What, what grade do you guys teach? Jay says, who's who? What's your names? New to the group. Got two of those I've had in the sun for a year and a half. Yeah, they do turn a nice SCA, SCA. So SCA stands for sun-colored amethyst. So if you set this bottle out in the sun, it takes a while. But uh, if you set it out in the sun, it'll turn amethyst, which is pretty awesome. It's got a cool patina on it, too. Third grade, that's awesome. I'm a K-5 through emotional support. I love it. Um, Jay says, who's who? Yeah, so Jay, I, my name is James. Uh, Mike, you want to voice yeah. off? Yeah, James is, uh, 
I think Jay's been in the Crick Diggers too. Yeah, that James is a dirty burger. Uh, I'm Mike, I'm Copper Popper, and our buddy Tyler, he'll be on here too, and uh, Tyler Yosko. So we all, uh, you know, do, are on the channel, and we, you know, all, like I said, we all get together. We've been metal detecting together, well, me less than these guys uh, together, but a little over a year now all together doing this. So yeah. Anybody want to toss out a $2 start? We'll do a $2 start on this. Pizza just got here. Yeah, I can smell that pizza. <laughs> Rip through these bottles and then you can uh, get some grub. Great. We'll give it another 10 seconds. If not, we'll pull it. I am about 45 minutes outside of Pittsburgh. All right, we got Valerie Jean. Do we have Valerie's information? Let me check. Valerie Jean. I do not see it. Uh, yeah. Do we, do you see Val it? Is that Valerie, Valerie Bratz? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Valerie. Well, Michelle's at okay. three, so we'll go ahead. And yeah, we'll, we'll start it at three. Valerie, uh, yep, that's, that's Valerie. okay. Cool, thank you, Valerie. Yes, you are supposed to say Mr. Owen School. <laughs> Tell her I'm right. I'm West Mifflin. Yeah, Tyler's right out of West Mifflin, right by Kennywood. All right, see you tomorrow or Monday, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're up in Ohio now. That's where I'm at, Mike. But uh, we all get yes. together. We're only, you know, collectively about an hour or so away from one another. So Luke's from Kansas. Wow. Nice. I never dug any bottles from Kansas. Oh, North for Sales. Yeah, my girlfriend's from North for Sales. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> well, we got $3. dollars need 4 bucks. Yeah, $4. Coming in on a minute left. Let's see here. Four dollars for the Welch's grape juice. Mark said, did I get his information? Yep, Mark, you're good to go. We just uh, got your information. Thank you so Mark much. Stegman. Like we said, we're probably gonna try and do this you know, maybe once a month right now. We'll see how it goes. Um, just something, we just thought it'd be fun. We know we have a blast doing it with, you know, just watching Travis's and Corey. So, you know, it's fun for us just to do it too and have fun and talk to you guys. And um, Second chances in PA, make sure you refresh your chat. We got $4 four from Becca. We're at a four second lag time on our end right now. Yeah, so make sure you refresh your uh, live chat. All right. That's time. Going to lag. Three, two, one. All right. Four dollars to Becca. Thank you so much, Becca. Oh, Valerie, you were just a couple of seconds out. Just out by a millisecond. Yeah, out by a millisecond. <laughs> so, so that's why we do our lag time. We check our lag time so that you can get in those bids before the live chat on on our end receives it so you might if if there's you know if you see 10 seconds left you might want to toss in that that bid just to make sure that it gets in before the timer runs out <laughs> i don't know we don't have as many bottles luke yeah. we couldn't keep up with those guys yeah well, they have, <laughs> they have, we, we have a decent amount but i don't i think we'd run out pretty quick if we tried doing that yeah all right Let's hit the next bottle. This is a Columbia Ketchup Extra Quality Bottle. Um, it is a blown and mold variety, corn top. And it's funny they spell... Is that normally how you spell ketchup? C-A-T-S-U-P? Okay. Catsup. Catsup. I mean, it ain't Heinz, so... <laughs> I don't I don't know what it is. It's got this really cool little uh design on the base of it. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Really, really beautiful 
cat's up bottle right here. I have to throw the black light on it too here. Yeah, it yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, Trav and, and Corey, they do the black yeah. light on it. Yeah, we're Let's not, see if we can move this not back too original. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> We'll toss a black light on it, and uh, if it has, what is it, just the manganese that reflects yeah, I think off that's of what it? Yeah, saying, yeah. Yeah, so we'll shut that off. Toss that off. Oh, yeah, it's definitely reacting to it. For sure. Heck, yeah, man. That thing will turn super purple in the sun, too, I'm sure. Awesome. Turn that back on. Turn this back on. Um, you guys go ahead and, um, toss out a, a start for this. It's, uh, your call. As soon as we see it on the chat, we'll start the clock. Sorry, we moved it back just so that it would fit in frame. Is that better? You can zoom it in a little bit if you want. Sorry, Liz, we're newbies at this. Yeah. Zoom in if you need to, or you can move it up and down. If Let's you see. Want to. We'll go. Let us know if this is better, guys. We're yeah, is, that, is that better or worse? Closer. Closer. Tanya. Michelle. Michelle. I just like saying Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll move it over here so you can see that. There we go. How's that? This is a sweet cat's up, guys. Yeah. Better thanks. Thanks, Shell. <laughs> Go ahead, start. Somebody start it off for us. Whatever you want to toss out. Yeah. Uh, yes, please hit the like button. The more likes that we get, the more people um, actually get uh, notifications for the for the live auction. So that helps us out a whole bunch. Thank you very much. Uh, we don't have a starting bid okay. yet. Valerie was out. Yeah, it was the last one. So. Uh, yeah, that was that was the last bid. So if somebody wants to do a two dollar start on this one. Yeah, this this clock doesn't light up until you push it. So. Yeah. It don't it doesn't stay lit. So. Let's see here. Cherry said, uh, "How old is How old is Tina?" She is 27. Yeah, 27. She was down by the right aid. <laughs> she, was, she lived down by the right aid and hope herself. <laughs> what do you think? I'll pull that one. Yeah, we'll pull this one. And I'll move on to my last bottle for the night. Listen, or not strange. the night. Yeah. For my run. Um, this is a sample whiskey it is a machine made style they also come in uh blown and mold style but it is a paul jones whiskey from louisville kentucky um cool little mini whiskey beautiful amber um it's actually got a little bit of whittling on it and stuff too um beautiful little bottle super clean no damage um, she, Sherry said that she lives right up the street from, uh, from Rite Aid. <laughs> yeah, that's... Wow. That's funny. Um, why don't we get a $5 start on this, on this little guy? I will get back to you in one minute, Sherry. <laughs> How tall How is tall it? How tall is it? Mm. See, that's one thing we didn't grab. We didn't grab a, uh... I would say... I can grab a tape measure though. Yeah, we'll grab. We'll get a tape measure. Uh, Paul is first with five dollars. We'll start the clock. Two minutes going. Paul, Liz is at six. We need seven dollars for the tiny Paul Jones whiskey sample size. She was on Oakdale, sure. Fritz Lag. Go Steelers. That's right, Fritz. Ugh. I think his name is Hans, right? Does, do we have Fritz's info? Yeah. Is that Hans Welch information? Yeah, Hans. Uh, yeah, 
think so. Yeah, I think we're good on you, Hans. Let me see. Let me get the old tape measure out here. There we go. About four inches. Four and eighth. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Hans. Look at me shaking like a leaf. <laughs> yep. We're at $6 right now. We need $7 or more. Thank you, Hans. We appreciate it, brother. What are some bottles that you guys like to see so that we know what, what yens are interested in? I personally, I like inks because they're small <laughs> and they don't take up a bunch of space. And I like uh, sodas too. They're, they're pretty awesome. Um, we have some, we have some, uh, we have some poisons tonight. I got a couple poisons. Um, I have, I have one ink. That I'm gonna run tonight. Yeah, I got an ink too. Um, Perfumes. Some, uh, okay. I've I've dug a couple <laughs> perfume bottles. Got a few few jars tonight. Yep. What are we at? Six bucks. Yep. We need uh, seven dollars or more. Fifteen seconds left. Seven dollars from Chrissy Rigney. We need eight dollars or more. It's a real neat little mini whiskey, guys, with the, the little panel on it. For the... That's time. Go to lag three, two, one, zero, seven dollars to Chrissy Rigney. Thank you so much, Chrissy. Goodbye. Very nice. All right, guys, that is my five bottles. We have a couple jars tonight as well. Uh, Mike has a couple jars that he's gonna run for eight. What was this? Seven bucks? Uh, yeah, yeah, for seven. Yeah. Marbles. Uh, Mike, you said you have a couple yeah, marbles. Yeah, I got some marbles. We have some pretty cool relics. Sure, I have yeah, I have some uh, some silver coins and some Civil War bullets that I'm going to do a little uh, little group for. Um, who wants to go next? Ty. Ty, Ty, Ty Tyler's going to go next. Uh, Thank you so much, guys. All right, Jerry, guys. Yeah, we got your info, Jerry. And uh, Mark said how long we've been digging for. Uh, oh seven years for me yeah metal detecting a long time but bottle digging a like year. a year so i mean we're, we're pretty new to it so let's see here what ball you want to run with first Tyler? i'll start with a strap side whiskey cool all right i'm going to start with a strap sided whiskey you're good you're good all right hard or? yeah it Ooh. says registered full full pint um, I'd say those are what? Early 1900s? Yeah. yeah what yeah. is this on the side? What do they call that That's again? That's a strap-sided. Strap-side flask? Yeah, flask. Yeah. Roman mold. I don't think there's any damage no on it No damage. Either. I just got to clean it a little bit. Yeah, yeah a little, little bit more. dirty. <laughs> that, that's when you know it's authentic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah full right. pint. Registered full pint. Is it a number six on the bottom? Six or um, nine. Yeah, it looks like a six. Cool. I think. That most likely will, we'll, we can show the black light on it real quick. That and these are all going to be yeah. extra cleaned. <laughs> extra cleaned. Up. Um, it's reacting a little bit. No, oh, no, not really at all. So that's post-1900, that's post Jim? Yeah, it might turn amethyst. I don't know. It's a sweet right. bottle, though. I'll let you guys pick the bit on this one. You guys started off. <laughs> That's awesome, Mark. As soon as I get a bid, I'll start the timer. You'll love it, Mark. It's been, we haven't really been able to get out at all up our way right now because of the weather and frozen ground, but hopefully soon. But we had a heck of a year last year. If you, uh, you know, check out our channel, you can see all the cool stuff that we've been finding this past year. And uh, we have a blast doing it. And we've been having a blast bottle digging too, so. Yeah, we got some marbles later, some older mason jars that we're going to be throwing up, atlas jars. Poisons. Poisons, inks. I got a big whiskey. Yeah, we got a couple big whiskeys, some bossed whiskey. Uh, some, some nice stuff. Coca -Cola, so. Coca-Cola. A beautiful teal insulator, too. Yeah. You just want to do like a $2 start for it, Ty? Yeah, I'll, I'll do a dollar start on it. Dollar, someone's getting a deal. Yeah, man, this is a cool little bottle. I mean, you can't beat it for a dollar. And like I said, it's going to be cleaned and, and sent out to you. So. Yeah. When you bill us, will it be? Yeah, we're going to ship. Uh, we're not going to ship separate. We'll all just ship it. Uh, 
you won't get separate shipping when no matter who bottle you you know who you buy it from it'll all just come we'll combine all our bottles together and you'll just get one uh you know one shipping from one of us and so yeah if that helps you jerry says where are you guys out of pittsburgh area in northeast ohio We'll give another five seconds and we'll pull it. Howdy from the OBX. Thanks, Jim. We appreciate you stopping in and checking us out. Thanks, right. brother. You can, yeah, you can, All right, yeah. I'm going to pull this one. Right, what do you want to start with? Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, sweet. That's a cool one. All right, so this bottle here uh, is a California fig syrup from California. Make sure it's in the camera, brother. <laughs> Uh, it says Sterling Products Incorporated successor. Um, Beautiful little bottle. Yep. Is it blown and mold? Yeah, it looks like it's blown and mold. Uh, nice, Matt. How tall is that, Mikey? Yeah. All right, let me see. Get the old measuring tape. Seven it inches. is rated about seven inches. Seven inches. I don't see any damage on it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any flea bites or cracks. So if somebody, so we got one. Is that Chrissy starting yeah. off at one dollar? Yep. We'll start off at one. There you go, Ty. All right. This guy's getting ready to have a baby, so spend your money. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Spend your money. He's expecting a little boy. Yeah. Baby. When's she due? Uh, she's due in May. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's the last one. <laughs> yeah, that's the last one. <laughs> sure. So we got one dollar for Chrissy Rigney. I've never seen like a fig syrup. I don't, do you know anything about fig syrup? I've seen um, Adventure Archaeology dig a bunch of them. Thank you, Jim. Um, they're not incredibly rare or anything, but this is definitely a, a, a clean bottle. Very good example of it. Um, I just don't know much what they were used for. Yeah, like I said, we've only been digging bottles for about a year, so this is all kind of new to us. Um, we're, we're learning as we go. Um, so we need, we're at one minute now. We need $2. $2 on the California fig syrup. $2. $2 on the California fig syrup. Yeah, Digger Dave does dig. He, I've seen him dig them a lot too. Oh, Chrissy, that was for the last bottle? Okay. Cherry's at four. That works. Right, should I start over? No, no, no. It's okay. Four dollars $4 for Sherry. We need five dollars or more. Less than 30 seconds. Chrissy Rigney's at eight. 20 seconds left. We need nine dollars or more. Less than 10 seconds. Need nine dollars or more. That is time on our end. Three, two, one, zero. Chrissy Rigney for eight dollars. Thank you so much, Chrissy. Thank you. Yes. Tyler's gonna take back over. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah, you're good, bro. <laughs> what was this one? Right. Was that? that was the California, California fixer. fixer. Chrissy Rigney for eight dollars. Two in a row for Chrissy. Yeah, man. She's crushing it. Okay. All right, which bottle you want to do next, Ty? Uh, we're gonna have to zoom out for this big boy. Yeah. Ooh, this is a this is a good bottle. This is a good bottle coming up. All right, go ahead. Ty, buddy. was this this was uh where did you acquire this bottle? This was actually bought by my dad in the nineties at some point. Um, I believe it was dug out of a privy out west, but somebody took the time and turned it purple yeah it sat sat out in the uh in the sump for a very long time it's um frank frank and hind frank and hinds co toledo ohio from toledo ohio pretty sure it's a uh a whiskey it's blown in mold and it's got really nice panels on it yeah. beautiful panels is and that a three-piece mold or is that a two I don't, i'm not sure it like yeah it looks like a two-piece with yeah, yeah. It's a very clean bottle. There's no damage Gorgeous. on this thing. Yeah, it looks that's gonna look great with the yeah. light on. Oh my gosh! If Let's see how wait it looks until you guys there. see that in person, whoever gets it is very gonna be very lucky. 
me raise the camera out. What's back up, her Deb? Up. Good to see you, Deb. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, she's a big one. Yeah, I keep saying purple. It's amethyst. For sure, there will be Pittsburgh Bowlers on our next one. Up. We kind of yeah, we weren't we're sure, sure what to put up. Um, yeah, I don't have... I've got some local uh, Pittsburgh Bowlers that uh, I, I can't find any other examples of. So. What's up, Joe? How you doing, buddy? Oh, Joe's in? Yeah. Sweet. Your good buddy Joe. Yeah, check out his channel, Pittsburgh Coin Hunting. Does a lot of metal detecting, finds a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah. Have him take a look in the dark here with it. Oh yeah, I think. Where's your gorgeous. little? Where's your black light, Jimbo? Uh, we'll turn it off here too. And turn the light very off. Very reactive. Very reactive. It's too big to put it on top. <laughs> right. That's gorgeous. This is an awesome bump bottle very cool oh what do you want to start Whatever. about everyone starts anyone wants to start ah let's start about it's a, it's a pretty nice bottle about a twenty dollar yeah twenty dollars $20 start. start it's a nice i i talked to my uh bottle guy about this bottle and he said he'd seen one other uh example of it and it was it went for uh a little bit over that so it's a good bottle. You definitely don't want to pass this one up from Toledo, Ohio. $20 start. I've got a bunch of familiar faces in here, though. Yeah. 35 people watching right now. That's awesome. Like I said, that's more than we thought we'd get, so we appreciate you guys coming in here. Uh, that, Mark, that one wasn't dug by us. That was... Uh... My dad bought that actually years ago. You said it came from out west? Yeah. That's awesome. That's probably why I turned so deep amethyst. Probably sat in the in the direct sun for a long time. No, was it from Ohio? Yeah. Is that what it said? Toledo, Ohio. Toledo. Yeah, maybe a long ways. I uh I looked I looked into this bottle too. They it was a whiskey company that started in this I think eighteen sixties. And uh they had a lot of really cool stone, stone whiskey, stone stoneware uh, jugs and whiskey jugs and stuff like that. Really cool bottle. If you want to shoot me a lag check, uh, Deborah, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll check our lag again on the timer here when we start it. We were sitting at four seconds though. Let's see here. Anyone? Twenty dollars start. We'll give it another twenty seconds. I'm gonna buy it for twenty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm about to log on to the chat. You guys definitely <laughs> don't want to miss this one. It's a nice bottle. I think you're like at six seconds. Six second Just... lag. Okay. If you guys want to toss in your lag checks, we'll start the clock. Deb says, tell her about the bottle again. It's from Toledo, Ohio. Oh, we got a $20 bid here. Yeah, we got $20 from Jaybird. Yeah, go ahead. What's, what's the info about the bottle? So, time? yeah, so it's from Toledo, Ohio. It's Frank Hein, H-E-Y-N, and company. And uh, I, I I did some research on it. Like I said, I think it started in the, they started in the 1860s. And... Um, they have some really cool stoneware jugs, um, with really nice print on them, but this is an 1890s to 1910 blown and mold version. Nice, deep amethyst. We need 21 or more. Let me see what it looks like again with the... Yeah, it's pretty. 25. Jay's at 25. Jay's at 25. Yeah, this is a really nice. Uh, how many? I, it's probably. I'd say it's probably got ten panels on it. Yep, I'd say probably about ten. Like I said, my my. Uh, our, our, have we dug any stoneware? We have dug some stoneware. Um, I have. Tyler's dug a lot of Crocs. <laughs> I've seen him dig, dig a little, lot of jar, jar, Lag Gary. jar jams, jam jars, blah, jar jams. <laughs> 
jam jars. Um, I dug a nice, um, what's it called, whiskey jug, w missing the handle, but Tyler got a really nice uh, whiskey jug. It's in one of our videos. <clears throat> it's local to me, which is awesome. All right, Jay's at 25. Right. 26 or higher, guys. 15 seconds left on the clock. All right, coming down to it. All right, we got Jay, Jay's at 30. Five, four, three, 40. two, one, zero. Deb Porch with the snipe for $40. Thank you so much, Deb. Nice bottle. Deb. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Yeah. You are not going to regret that. So this one's a Congratulations. great Thank bottle, you. Deb. Yes, beautiful. 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 All right, let me write that down. Nice, Deb bro. in there. I've got that for, was it 40? Let me see, Debra Porch, okay. Let me see here. Just bear with us while we get this information in. Debra Snipe Queen. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to it, Trav. You get to see it on the other <laughs> side now, man. <laughs> Good luck trying to bid on something. Debra's the Snipe Queen. <laughs> Somehow by sheer luck, I snipe. Yeah. So, if you want to. Yeah, so uh, we're going to do a combo here. Um, oh, let me see. Try the two or three. You think I do? That one and this one. All right. All right, we got two bottles here. Um, this one is a castoria. This would have been used for um, your belly, stomach problems. Yeah, yeah. You guys have seen um, these before on. Uh... A lot of people find these castoria yeah. bottles. They're fairly common. Yeah. This um, one has a nice blue color to it, and once it's cleaned up better, it'll. Uh, it has no damage. Yeah, it's beautiful. And the second bottle is a. Uh, this one is a shoe polish. Shoe. Yeah, pretty I sure believe. it's a shoe polish. Yeah, it's kind of nice aqua color underneath the mud. Yep. But it's uh I will be going for third. Got a little bit a little bit of damage on the heel. You can see right there, guys. Yeah. And then I think it has a number or something on the base. Oh. Number 1 it looks like. Number 1. So, awesome. yeah, just a little damage there, guys. Lip seems all right though. Yeah. Machine made. Beautiful aqua bottle here. You guys can make a starving bid on that. Two dollars. Yeah, Anybody two, want to take two dollars? Two dollar bid on on the combo: the shoe polish and the Castoria. Castoria, I did some research on them too. They uh, they had some copyright issues with other companies. There's a ton of varieties of the Castorias. Um, people. That's Fred. Took them all the time. <laughs> Uh, they had horrible stomach issues from eating spoiled food and just I don't I don't know they just all they had no refrigeration yeah so you you know they pickled everything two dollars start from Valerie thank you right. Valerie we'll start the clock yeah they they de in some ton of, ton of the privies we find so in in the dumps we find so many. Uh, stomach bitters and, and stuff to settle your stomach. Um, bromo seltzers and stuff like that. I mean, we in today's age, we still take that stuff, but it just seemed more prominent back then. All right. It's almost like Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure if you rounded up all the Pepto-Bismol bottles that we have now, it'd be pretty similar to the Castorias. These shoe polishes clean up really well. Um, they... They uh, have a really beautiful aqua tint. I think we dug, you probably got both of those out of the local dump that we go to. Yep. Um, um, yeah, we found a lot of those at that dump. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're cool little bottles. We, a lot of stuff we leave behind, but we take these with us because um, they're good display pieces, beautiful, beautiful pieces.
All right, less than a minute. We need three dollars or more on the Castoria and the shoe polish combo. Three dollars. Hope you guys are having a good time. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are having a really good time tonight. I'm having a blast just hanging out. Lag Kathy. Yeah, and uh, like I said, we're working on this. and Yeah, it's, we'll, it's, it's a learning curve for us, too. We'll get better as we, we go. We have a lot of interesting stuff to put on. And <laughs> thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. All right. Coming down to 10 seconds. Make sure you get your bids in before the lag. We need $3 or more. $3 on the combo. Right. That zero. Getting to lag. Three, two, one, zero. Valerie Jean for two dollars. Thank you so much, Valerie. Goodbye on these two. Jim, we do have a uh, one one coke tonight. Uh, one Coca Cola tonight. Got a straight side coke too. Oh, that's right. Mike Mike's got some nice nice bottles coming up that I totally forgot about. So goodbye, Valerie. Thank you so much for your first purchase from drippy lip auctions thank you so much guys for watching tonight we are having a blast yeah. doing this yeah, it's a lot of fun. this yeah. is this is actually work i don't know travis and Corey. uh you know it's it's a learning experience too we're trying our best so <coughs> we appreciate you guys hanging with us and uh i think we are up to about 40 people watching there for a while so we appreciate it that's guys. awesome it's, you, buddy. It's, it's all yeah. me all right it's mike's turn right. thank you guys well, i really appreciate it yeah right. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I'm going to start out with a really sweet drinking glass. Um, didn't really want to put it up, but as you can see here, guys, it's a slight aqua tint to it. And it's got some really neat stars around it. Nice Patriotic. Color. Yeah. If Is you it, guys can see the whittling on it. That's like the waviness in the glass. They if, When they put it into the mold... It was uh, a cold mold, so it'd create that wavy. Looks like it says, is that a Lasoya 16.4 and then a little symbol down there, but you guys can see no damage on it. Real pretty, aqua colored, real whittled. I'd probably say it's probably 1930s, 1940s. Yeah, but a real neat drinking glass, guys. There is a slight aqua color to it. So. All right. Thank you, Trav. We, we, we've learned from the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. We'll start this one out at three bucks, guys. Three bucks. It's awesome. Yeah. I, I've found so many drinking glasses that I keep it at my house. My mom's probably so irritated with them, but my niece loves them. She absolutely loves these drinking Thanks, glasses. Trav. Let's see here. How's this little guy work? Where's the block? Is this the block yeah, right here? Yeah, I don't really see any reaction to this guy here. Still a neat little uh, bottle here. Liz is at three bucks. Sweet. Let's start the clock. All right, we'll start it up. At... There we go. Awesome. I think it's. Yeah, there you go. You need four bucks or higher, guys. Pretty sure this was a, a jam or a preserve jar that was also used as a drinking glass too. So I think they had like a seal on top and it was double purpose. Did Tina go to E age? Uh East Allegheny. East yeah. Allegheny? Yep. Yes she did. Yeah, the stars on it is neat, guys. I never uh got to drink from it or anything, but uh it's just a neat kind of like an old patriotic kind of with the stars on it. And yeah, look how look at the line, the reflection on the back. Yeah, of the thing. all the whittling it's on it. It's beautiful. Sure, you can uh, direct message us after. I'll tell you, you know, her yeah. last name. Then uh, you, you you probably know her. It's pretty close knit community. Her name's. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll try and keep it fairly off the internet. Just uh. Uh, <laughs> no extra cooties. Yeah, I didn't drink out of it, so it's uh hasn't been drank out of probably in 60, 70 years. Ooh, Kathy's at Kathy bucks. Buck. Do I have your information? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's my mother, Kathy. K 
Kathy, you're good to bed, Kathy. <laughs> so we need $11 or higher, guys, for the patriotic, I'm going to call it, drinking glass. We've got 30 seconds left. Liz is at 11. We need $12 or higher, guys. Yeah, this is a pretty neat little glass, though, guys. Yeah. Super clean, too. There's no blemishes on it, nothing. It's it's beautiful. Kathy Buck is at $15. Let's go. 16 or higher, guys. We got three seconds. Two, one. <whistles> on a lag time, guys. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Kathy, Kathy Buck. Buck. First purchase. Let's go. Kathy Buck with the bottle or the or the little drinking glass. Good purchase. Deborah, you're just out by probably about two seconds. We're still running at four to five seconds lag on our end. So let me write that down, guys. It's gonna be the drinking glass for 15 bucks. Alright. Alright, guys. Next bottle. We got a really neat Atlas jar here, guys. Nice little Aqua Atlas jar. This one was dug and it cleaned up real nice. Atlas Easy Seal. See the lid on it here? I think that used like a lightning seal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any or chips. It had like a, a, a bail. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's pretty clean though, you guys can see. Is that the number six or nine on it? Real nice looking bottle or mason jar, atlas jar. So we'll go ahead and get that running, guys. It looks great with the light on it. Let me raise this up just a little bit. And you guys can go ahead and throw out a bed on it here. Let's see. What's up, Trey? Copperheads, what's going on, fellas? Some of our good buddies from the metal detecting community. Yeah. Copperheads metal detecting. Definitely show them some love. You guys can see there. Man, that has a sweet reflection yeah, too. It's got a nice color to it. I like it. Ty, we're gonna have to set up a little like baby nightlight for you with one of these things, bro. <laughs> Atlas Easy Seal. That's really cool. Three dollars, Liz says. Let's run it. All right, guys. That's what we're doing right now, Trey. We're stuffing our faces with pizza. <laughs> now this is an interesting company. Four bucks or higher, guys. Let's see. 39 people watching. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. 33 likes. 18 Bs. What's going on? 18 Bs. Do we have Crockett. 18Bs info? No. 18Bs, if you want to toss in a bid, just shoot us an email. What's um, up, Indiana Tones? That's need, our email right there. We need $4 or higher, guys, on the Atlas Easy Seal. Thank you, Indiana Tones. Good to see you, bro. I watch him on YouTube. Mm-hmm. New uh, Mallory Tech and NYC, too. I watch both of them. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. We got 57 seconds left, guys. $4 or more. Yeah, it'd be a nice little jar to put your marbles in or, you know, whatever. Put anything. Yeah. Use it as a vase. There's so many uses for them. That's what I, all the marbles that I dig out of the dumps and privies and stuff, I have a couple different mason jars filled with them and. That's where I put my wheat pennies and stuff too. I have a big mason jar that I put them in. Mason jars are honestly probably my favorite. Gary's at five bucks. Let's go. Gary Buck, we need six dollars or higher. Deborah Porch, we need six dollars or higher, guys. Gary Buck, that sounds that sounds familiar. <laughs> Gary got in first at seven. We need eight or higher, guys. We're on lag. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Deborah got that at eight dollars. Nice job. Nice job, Deb. Deborah. 
the sniping queen. Gary, try and refresh your, your page so that your lag cuts down. Never got that at eight. You're out by about three seconds. All right. Sweet pickup, Deborah. I think you'll like that one. Mm -hmm. Nice color on it. Very clean. All right, guys. We're going to run... I'm going to run one of my better bottles for the night. So, got a blob here for you guys. A nice... Let's zoom out here a little bit. This is a nice... You guys might have seen this in the picture. York Brewing Co. York, PA registered now it does have just a little ding on it there's a little possibly a little flash crack there um let's see is there anything else and a little flea bite where's that flea bite at james mm -hmm. yeah, right there right there yeah but it's still yeah. a really is that a yeah, slight, slight yeah right there there's crack. two little but i mean the top's great on it yeah blob it's sea mm -hmm. light sea color real nice strong embossing on it you can see it's got a the SCA color coming in on it. Let me zoom out a little bit if I can. Raise it up. Try, try on this side so that you can still see the... Okay. Yeah, perfect. All right. That's good right there. All right, guys. We start out at $5 on this one. Ooh, $5 I'm not start, now. guys. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, the, the little the flea bite on it. You know, it's right on the bottom, so it's hard to see, but it's a real nice bottle. If you, the temperature really comes into play. Right, let's see here. Indiana Tones is in first for $5. Allen 89, good to see you, brother. We'll start the clock. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Oh, right, we'll that let's start it. Right there. $10, Liz, is that. Need 11 or higher, guys. There we go. Perfect. 11 bucks or higher on the York Brewing York PA Blob. Blob top. Light beat. SEA color. Small I, flea bite, but it's, it's got some bubbles in it. It's great. Great color on it, guys. This one was a hard one to put up. It looked great on a shelf. and Probably say that's 1880s to 1890s. Trav, what do you think age on this? Lag, Jerry. We got 10 bucks. Yeah. Eleven dollars or higher, guys. On the York Brewing, it will glow. Eighteen ninety to nineteen oh five. Trav says. Thanks, buddy. Gary's at thirteen. Beautiful circle slug. Copperheads. Buy a razor for that face. <laughs> it's it ain't coming off, brother. I'm doing the yeard. I'm growing it out for a year. Any damage? Yeah. It does yeah, have. Slight damage to the base of it. Um, it's got a flash crack in the base right here. And then a small, a little, flea bite. small little flea bite right there. But other than that, it's it's beautiful. The right. neck is pristine. 14 bucks on it, guys. Let me, let me uh, see if it glows. You got your... Uh... Uh, where did I put that thing? Oh, that's okay. 14 or higher, guys. Where the heck did I put that? Got 25 seconds left. Oh, it's right here. Here we go. Mike hit it. Yeah. 20 seconds left, guys. 14 or higher. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. A little glow, guys. Reactive. Gary's at Eight 15. Seconds. He outbet himself. So 16 <laughs> or higher, guys. <laughs> it's time. All right. We're lag. Five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Jeff got it at 18. Dude, killer buy, man. That nice is an one, awesome, Jeff. awesome pictorial yeah. blob. That is a beautiful bottle. Good pickup, man. Purple. That's for Jeff for, what was it? 18, 18 bucks. Dude. Good pickup, man. All right, guys. I have in the next bottle I have, guys. Let's see here. What were all those stains on the black light? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said the same thing. That was, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
All right, guys, next bottle here. We got a Sloan's Liniment. It is machine made. Great shape, though. You can see the bubbles here. Real nice machine made bottle. I think that stands for Illinois Glass Company. I'm not sure. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong with the little triangle or the, the diamond down there. But you can see, guys, there's no damage on it. Bubbles, early machine made. Can we center our screen? Though? Yeah, we'll move it a little bit here. Looks real nice on the uh, wheel there, guys. So we're going to do bidder's choice. You guys go ahead and throw out a number on it. We'll get it started. Real nice bottle, though. Nice color. You can see how it looks with the uh, on the wheel there. We'll turn off the light, get a little light show on it. I'm a little obsessive with the light shows, but I think they look cool. All right, Chrissy's at five. We'll go ahead and start it, guys. All right, $6 or higher, guys. Yeah, thanks for the feedback, Liz. We, uh, yeah, it does need to be a little bit bigger so everyone can see it. Joe Setti, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Joe. What's up, Joe? Six dollars or higher, guys. Yeah, that Luke, that's like a little, uh, it's like a kitchen clock or something. I think it was 20 bucks, magnet on the back. It's a neat little clock. Okay, six dollars or higher on the Sloan's Liniment machine made. No damage on it. Joe Setti in the Copperheads. All the way from Connecticut. Yeah, dude. Spend your money, Joe. <laughs> Tyler's having a baby soon, so yep. need some diaper money and <laughs> we're at five dollars, guys. Six dollars or higher. Yeah, I believe our email's in our um, description of this video, so you guys can check it there and send your information there. Just let us know. It's hard to check while we're doing the auction. Just let us know if you sent it, and we can take a look real quick. Uh, it's just hard to. Um, check that during the auction but we can we can do that if you'd let us know that'd, that'd help um, 40 seconds guys we don't unfortunately have any pittsburgh bottles tonight the Ooh. next auction i will yeah. bring, i will personally bring some pittsburgh bottles for you sure yeah we weren't quite sure what everyone was interested in so we just kind of brought a bunch of bunch of stuff i'm two hours from home so <laughs> <laughs> 20 seconds left guys sloan's liniment machine made <laughs> Six dollars or higher, guys. We're still running about four seconds lag on our end. Five seconds left, guys. Six dollars by Valerie. We're on lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. Valerie got that for six bucks. Sweet. Congratulations. Nice Bartle. Second buy. That's the Sloan's. Yes, Sloan's sir. Liniment. And that was for six bucks by Valerie. Sure. Nice one, Valerie. All right, this is my last bottle for this run, guys. Let's see here. Let me put the light back on here. Auctions every Friday. Not right now, Jim. We don't have enough bottles. Uh, we're just thinking about monthly right now. We see how much interest we get. But, uh, you know, obviously we... we, we you know, we could do them more often. Uh, so right here, warranted flask. I don't think that's a flea bite or anything there, but it is blown in mold. You can see here, it's pretty good shape. What's the age on these, James? What's that? To like 1890s, 1905. Yeah. 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 But warranted flask, you can see the blank slug plate there. Yeah, man. Is that a... Is that a chip there, or, a, mm. or is that just in the glass? In the glass yeah. behind it. Yeah, it's a. I think it's a. It's a little flea flash. bite. Flash. Teensy flash. Flash. But you can see here, guys. It's got the bubbles. Nice talk to it. No damage on the lip. So, we'll start. We'll start at three bucks, guys. Like I said, blank slug plate, warranted flask. You could even put your drippy lip sticker right in that <laughs> slug plate. It would look sweet. <laughs> Chrissy's at five. Let's go ahead and run it. Man, that would actually look awesome. I'm probably going to do that I, with 
one of my bottles. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got a, I got a bunch of these, but this one has a slug plate in it. And it's blank, but I mean, the other ones I have, they don't have the slug plate on them. So yeah, I've never found a sl blank slug plate one. We're at five. We need six bucks or higher on the warranted flask, guys. Those are cool. I found uh, a decent bit of flask, but never a strap sided one. Really? I never found one. You huh. gave me one. Yeah. That's probably the one you <laughs> yeah. tried to sell. Wow, this guy. Oh my gosh. Man. I didn't realize I got up here. <laughs> wow. Give this guy a bottle, huh? He tries to sell it. Man. Uh. <laughs> You got a baby on the way you got to do what you got to do I guess. Yeah. 18 bees i don't think we have your information if you could send it to drippy lip auctions at gmail.com send us your paypal information as well as your uh address i'll try your about as prepared as i am tonight yeah. <laughs> what makes them so rare i don't really think they're that rare yeah they're fair they're, they're common. pretty common yeah but uh but this this one has a, a slug, slug plate. plate so that was this circle that's coming around right here, that's where they would have had the paper label for whatever was in there. People think that uh, these warranted flasks and flasks in general were only used for whiskey, but they were used for everything um, from ink to booze to, uh, you know, hair ointment, like whatever, whatever they could use it for. And the majority of flasks I find don't have anything on them. So. Yeah, yeah, we find a lot of blank ones. Six guys are hired, guys, on the warranted flask blank slug plate. This one, it's worth buying because it's got that slug, that blank slug plate. You could, uh, you could pop a, uh, a, st a a label on there or one of our stickers. All right, guys, we're on lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. No more bids came in, so Chrissy got it at five dollars. Nice. Awesome, Chrissy. Sweet little pickup. That's the warranted flask. Five dollars for Chrissy Ridney. All right, I'm gonna get out of the way. I need guys All right. to sit here if you want. That's Mike's five. I'm gonna hop back on the plate. Even though I've been talking the whole time, I apologize <laughs> if I have no, a super annoying really voice. <laughs> Take it away, bro. <laughs> All right, this is a cool one. This is a s tonsiline. That is cool. Uh, it's got, it usually says this is a machine made um, screw cap one, but I've found the, uh, the cork top versions and it says tonsiline for the throat. So it was for uh, whenever you had a sore throat or coughing or something. That's why they have the giraffe embossed on there. So cool. My sister loves giraffes. That's like her favorite animal. Um, but yeah, nice little tonsiline bottle for the sore throat. That's right, Trav. Um, whatever you guys want to start it off as, just let me know. Drop it in the... Uh, yes, you do have to send us your uh, your PayPal information as well as your address uh 18 b's and then uh as soon as that comes in as soon as you email that to us we can get you bidding all right uh sherry is at seven dollars i believe screw top would be 1920s 1930s thank you trav all right uh i can't remember i didn't see if sherry was in for seven so we'll just start it at five for liz and brad Five dollars. We need six dollars or more. Clock is started now. Liz is outbid herself to ten. <laughs> All right, <laughs> ten or more for the tonsiline nineteen twenties thirties for the throat with a beautiful pictorial giraffe. Yeah, these bottles are super cool to come by. They look beautiful on your shelf. shelf blah, blah. Yeah, Liz, we'll keep your $5 bid, so we just need $6 or more. $6 or more. Wow. I wonder if the... Wow. All right. Shell is up to $11. $11. <laughs> uh, 
I'm so confused. We're at six dollars for for shell. Six dollars for shell. We need seven dollars or more. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> Michael just relieved himself over away from the camera, but I'm pretty sure you guys could hear it too. So, yeah, we need seven dollars or more. Less than a minute. Seven dollars or more. Beautiful little tonsiline bottle with the pictorial giraffe. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are having as much fun as we are. We're having a blast. Thank you guys so much for for checking in on us and uh, giving us some support. Really, yeah, really, really appreciate it. Us. Twenty seconds left. Liz is at seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a bullfrog. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Liz is at seven dollars. We need eight dollars or more. All right, time has hit. Going to lag. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. We got Liz for seven dollars. Good job, <laughs> Barking Spider. <laughs> oh my God. Very nice, Chrissy. You were about three seconds out. Um, is our lag still showing? About six uh, seconds. It was about four to five seconds actually really yeah we were showing real good on it okay cool good pickup Sorry. guys make sure you refresh your chat every once in a while just to make sure that you are uh as live as possible um what'd she get that for she got that for seven dollars good pickup that's a sweet little guy and that was was that liz that was liz yeah whoop, okay. whoop. what's your next bartle buddy? next bartle We'll do, we'll do a little amber action. It's a nice corn top beer. Renner's Brewing Company from Youngstown, Ohio. Lag Valerie. Um, yeah, that was a nice one, Shell. This is, it's got a really cool shield embossed on it with a, I'm pretty sure that's like uh, the Star of David. I see that on a lot of bottles, actually. Um, but a nice monogram. Doesn't look to have any damage on it. Some nice bubbles in there. Pretty clean. Oh, it does have a lip chip up here. You can see it's a, it's a little fisheye lip chip on it. Um, but still a beautiful bottle. Amber beer bottle from probably 1910 to 1920. It Jim, is... Jim says corn top. Yeah. Corn top. It is actually blown in mold, so it's could be a little bit earlier. But um, do a five dollar start on the corn top. How's that? Does everyone can see that. Pretty good. We, yeah. How do you raise this up? Star David James. Uh, I'm not. I'm not totally sure. Trav, I don't know if you know anything about that. Um, I like I said, I see a lot of the Star of Davids on them. On bottles, just in general. Well, um, look at that. Take a look at it. Oh, my. Is that a... I see a flash crack there as well. <laughs> Seeing damage as I spin it. That ain't good. Um, yeah, we'll start it at $2. $2 for the Amber Beer from Youngstown, Ohio. Zoom in a bit. Not sure about the star, huh? <clears throat> Is that good right there? Blown in mold means that um, that it was actually the the glass was brought over to a mold and they physically blew through a, a pipe and blew it into the the shape that they wanted it. Um, it helps us date the bottle to about 1900 to 1910. Um, you can tell by the seam. Uh, just being a normal star. So, yeah, I guess it's not a star of David, but uh, six points. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. Maybe we can do some research later and check that out. It's interesting for sure. $2 start on this, on this bottle, guys. $2 start. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just a normal story. Yeah, Trav says they also tooled the last part of it, including the lip by hand. Interesting. $2 start from Jeff. Thank you very much, Jeff. We'll start the clock. Alrighty. $2. We need $3 or more. Renner's Brewing Company from Youngstown, Ohio. Nice little shield pictograph on it. Seven-pointed star is the symbol of the Cherokee Nation. Interesting. Yeah, this is a six six-pointed star. Ah, makes sense. Right, mold line would stop whenever they put the the lip on it. Interesting. I wish we had Travis's accent. Like, right. You now I wish we could talk cool. But I know. Sound like a bunch of weirdos from Pittsburgh and Ohio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But... <laughs> <laughs> I love my accent. Yinzer Nation. Yeah, Yinzer Nation. That's right. <laughs> Keep in mind, guys, that we will send a free Drippy Lips sticker to you guys with your purchase. We got less than a minute on the Renners Youngstown. Bottle. Beer bottle. Beer bottle. We'll get a little zoom action so you can Shell's see it. At us. Yeah. We're trying our best. Yay better. Not much Pittsburgh ease. There's a lot of we're we're not too bad about it. We say some down air and some some yinzers for sure. <laughs> I hate Pittsburgh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mike's just a lame flatlander. And he ha he has to cheer yeah. for everybody that's not pittsburgh for yeah <laughs> use guys and gum bands yeah red up red up the uh the room all right coming down to less than 10 seconds we need three dollars or more guys downtown. downtown that's timer go to lag five four three two one zero two dollars to jeff jolliffe heck yeah brother Good score on that one, man. Can't beat that. That's the runners, right? Yep. For two bucks? Heck yeah. Oops. Runners. Two bucks for Jeff. Yep. Jolly. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Next, we're going to run our first poison. This is a blown and mold version of a tri -Loid's Triangle Poison, Cobalt Blue, beautiful, beautiful bottle right here. Wash, washing my clothes. I, I didn't have to wash this Triloids. It, it came out super clean. Welcome back, Christy. So these ribs on, on the edges of them, they, they were placed on poison bottles to make sure that when there was lack of light, you didn't grab that poison and... and take something by accident but this is really cool triangle poison no damage on this guy set him up right there you want to measure it sure yeah. it's three just and a half inches about yeah about three and a half inches sweetness oh uh, yeah i guess i could zoom huh? sorry for the camera work guys yeah we're getting there Ooh. I can just hold it. Uh, I'd like to start this one at 15 if that's okay. Uh, $15 start on this poison. They go for uh, pretty a little light show. Heck yeah. $15 start on this, guys. Beautiful triloids poison cobalt blue. Chrissy Rigney's at 15. We'll start the clock. Yeah, that's right, Jim. Those hobble skirt cokes, they uh, they have a very distinct shape to them. Sherry's at $20. We need 21 or more. 
on the Triloids poison. These poisons are so cool. I it's such a such a great feeling whenever you pull one of these out. $25 to Chrissy Rigney. We need 26 or more. We we had one dump that you went to um that you took me to Mike that we we dug a lot of triloids out of there. They were sweet. <laughs> um one of my favorite bottles. Yeah, they're they're really cool to find. 26. Paul, we're at 25 with Chrissy Paul. We need 26 or higher. Yeah. I was told that these triloids were like rat poison or something, right? I don't even it, know what kind it, of Yeah, I think Travis had one last week and he had the actual like they were like triangle uh pills that he had embedded in the bottom. They were like a tri actual the shape of the pill was a triangle. That's sweet. Wow. Very cool. Under a minute. We need 26 or more. Sent your Let me check. Thank you very much, Heather. You're good to go. Who just sent that to, Heather? Uh, okay, there we go. You're good to go, Heather. Thank you so much. Yeah, it is very, very blue. Dather Bunny. I'm not sure if we have your info, brother. Shoot us a uh, <laughs> rat in law. Dather Bunny? That's Fred. Oh, Fred. Really? Yep. What's up, Fred? Glad you made it, brother. Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, Fred, I knew that. <laughs> uh, Chrissy Rigney's at 25. We need 26 or more. Going to lag. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Valerie Jean for 36. Good score on the Cobalt Poison. Heck yeah. This thing is mint. Heck of a deal. Yeah, heck of a deal, man. Who got that one? Uh, that uh, Valerie, nice. good, good pickup. Chrissy, you were a couple seconds out on that. Triloids for thirty-six. Sherry, you were a couple out too. That was for that was Valerie. Yep. Let's give us a second. We'll run our next bottle. Yeah, that is a steal. That's a great price for right? a cobalt poison. Yeah, That'd this is in great shape. This cobalt poisons are awesome. All right, next we're going to run an Omega bottle. So we'll get the full bottle. It's a pretty long guy. I found a couple of smaller versions of this, but this is a really nice blown in mold. Omega oil. It's green. And I don't know if that's a tree, like for like a... a for whatever they get the the product from. I don't even know. Or if it's like a gas bubble or something. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I need some of that. Then, I guess. Yeah, right? You do, bro. The Omega Chemical Company from New York. Very cool. Blown a mold bottle here. Really skinny. Ooh. Let's get some more, David Jones. That's right. Let's get some mo. Make sure you send us our info at your info at drippy lip auctions at gmail.com. We need your PayPal and address to bid. Go ahead and start this one off at $5 on the Big Omega. Yeah, Mike let a gas bubble go. He there. did. He, if only some of these had some, uh, some uh, stuff still in them. All right, we got Sherry at $5. We'll run it there. This one looks – I like the color on this one. This yeah, it's, nice. it's, a, it's a light ice, like aqua – um, got Sherry at eight. Got two Sherrys. Sherry Altman. Do we have both of their? Sherry Altman and Sherry. I know we got Sherry Morgan. I believe we have Sherry Altman too. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, Chrissy's at 10. We need $11 or more. Sherry Morgan's at 12. Sherry Altman's at 15. Let's keep it going, guys. This is a sweet little bottle. Real skinny, nice display, no damage. <laughs> Chrissy Rigney's at 16. Coming up on a minute left on the clock. Paul Garcia's at 20. $20, we need $21 or more. Thank you so much, guys, for 
tuning in tonight. We are having a blast. Hope you are too. Sherry Altman is at 21. 50 seconds left on the clock. Beautiful little bottle here. See you, Blake. Good night, buddy. <laughs> I like the top of it too. Like the I know. kind of flares out, like a, almost like a little crown. It looks like a little crown or something. Mm -hmm. fucking... Later, broski. <laughs> All right, we got 20 seconds left on the clock. We need 22 or more. 22 or more. Sherry Morgan's at 23. $24 or more. 10 seconds left. $24 or more for the Omega Oil. It's green. That's our clock. Sherry's at 24. Lag, Chrissy. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sherry Altman at $24. Nice pick up. Sherry, thank you so much. Very nice bottle here. Omega? Yep, Omega Oil. That was for how much? For 24 to Sherry... Altman. Sherry Morgan, you were a couple of seconds out. Sherry Altman? Altman, yep. Okay, sweet. That's what you want, brother. Yeah, one. yep. All right, my last bottle for this run. We got a tall Coca-Cola, hobble skirt Coca-Cola. This is probably a 19... Get it in, in the camera. This is probably a 1960s version. Um... It does not have a town on the base, but it has a 55, so it's probably 1955. Um, the embossing is really strong. Uh, it is a machine-made version of the Coca-Cola, but it's taller than the typical Coca-Cola that you, uh, the hobble skirt that you see. This is a 10 fluid ounce Coke. Um, beautiful display piece. There's nothing more iconic than Coca-Cola. Um, we zoomed in. I don't know if I can zoom out. You want me to... There we go. However you want to do it. No, that's that's perfect right there. Uh, make sure the lag's good. Yeah, very nice color. Nice aqua hobble skirt coke. Um, make sure you guys, if you want to check your lag at the time, uh, whenever the clock is running, we'll we'll call you out when we see it. Um, let's get a five dollar start on the 10 ounce coke 1955 tall boy coke five dollar start this has a nice little uh shadowy stuff over here too yeah we'll do a nice little light show on it beautiful that would make you could do so many crafts with these things too i see oh, yeah, you know what i mean like light on the through the top of the corn top and close a little bit up top it's hard to yeah doing, so a little tall. bit not too much but it's still cool uh disco, disco light, light yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of those at work. It's asking for a recipient name. What do you mean, 18Bs? Like whenever, uh... huh, it's referred to as a Georgia Green. Interesting. What do you mean, 18Bs, when it's asking for a recipient name? What, what is? Are you sending us an email? If you send us an email, Derpy Lip Auctions, all you need to do is send us your PayPal email that you have registered and just your zip code, and that's all we will need. Five dollar start on this. We'll give it another ten seconds on it. Five dollars on the ten ounce Coke. Georgia green. Georgia green. All righty, guys. We'll pull this one. That was my last bottle of my run. We'll do uh, Tyrone next. Yep, 
Straight side coat coming up. Yes, Liz. That's in my run coming up. Tyler's got a couple here. And then, uh... All right, so I'm going to start here with a chemical bottle I actually dug out of a privy. Um, what do you say the age of the stuff we dug towards the bottom was, James? Uh, that was 1860s, 1870s. So this is probably 1880s, I would guess. Mm -hmm. It's got some really nice iridescence on it. Yeah, uh, like uh, I said. From, they call it like sickness from it laying in the poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no damage. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I don't see any damage no. on it. It's, it's Real a nice light chemical. Aqua. Yeah, once uh, it, it's up to the buyer whether they want to clean the sickness off. A lot of it came off itself <laughs> by me handling it. But uh, we'll start the bid off at four dollars. It's a really, it's got some cool color to it though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that'll light up like with the um, the black light or not. Laying in the Schmidt layer. Correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the poop layer. Yeah, that's the layer you want to be in when you're digging bottles. It's a little. I, it looked great with the light off, though. All right, let's see. Let me see if it has any uh, iridescence or, or the whatever it's called, the manganese or. Looks like yeah, it, it does. Yeah, oh, there's yeah. a good bit of it on there. That looks that's good. Cool, man. Huh. Sweet. Yeah, we're starting to bit off of four dollars on this one. Authentic uh, yeah, use layer left on it still, guys. Nice little aqua, light aqua, chemical, no damage. Four dollars for the chemical. Three yeah, for eighteen seventies, eighteen eighties chemical bottle. Beautiful patina. When you see this thing in person, it's it's honestly gorgeous. Yeah, I mean you can see here. I mean. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the iridescence yeah, on it, guys. Yeah, $4 start. That's a great, great little bottle. Liz is at four. All right. Sweet. Let's run. Yeah. Yep. All right. I'll be right back. All right. All right. We're at $4. Timer started. $5. This was a lot of fun digging this specific Yeah, this, this came out of our first privy, actually, that we dug. We have a nice video on it. We might actually have this bottle coming out of the, uh, coming out on, on film. Um, we may, yeah. Se you sent us money. No, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> you didn't buy anything yet, 18Bs, wait. <laughs> Um, uh, just, uh, 18 bees. If you just want to message me on Facebook, Tyler Yosko, Y O S K O, then we'll just go from there. Yeah, that just, way, it's easier for you. Make sure you send us your your uh, info, your PayPal information, as well as your zip code. Watch on here for a second. Do what now? Just, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, we're at four dollars. We need five. All right, 37 seconds left. Okay, we got we have 18 Bs. We have your uh <laughs> we have your your PayPal information. Um I'm sure we can refund you the $5 that you sent us or we can send we'll send you uh, a nice little care package for whatever you like. Just let us know. Um, Coming out under seven seconds. Yep. Five. See. We need five dollars or more. That's the timer. All right, lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Liz got that for four dollars. Nice right. score. That's Liz. a good ball. For yeah. Four. I mean, that's what that's what out of my first privy. Yeah, it's a it's so. a very uh, it's a very uh. Nostalgic bottle, yeah. definitely. A lot of you know, a lot of them were. Yeah. So. Very cool. Very cool. Alrighty. 
What you got next, brother? Next. Another combo? Yeah, I want to do... Got me found one over there. Oh, this Paul Jones whiskey. Yeah, do, do it up. Esquire. Cool. Yeah, that works. I got that iridescence all over my hand. <laughs> I told you it runs off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all over my hand. I'm nice and sparkly. All right, Tyler's going to do another combo here. We got ourselves another Paul Jones whiskey. This is a, another machine-made uh, Paul Jones whiskey They're sample all bottle. I believe. Yeah, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. That's it. And then here he's got a Esquire scuff coat. Which is it was a shoe, a shoe polish. polish. This is the machine-made version, probably 1950s, 1960s, but it's got a cool little wonky neck on it too. Um. Sweet little bottle, so we'll throw these up as a combo. We'll start the bet off at two dollars on them. Yeah, one. two bucks, two dollars start on this. Oh, that's cool. That's nice of you, Liz. Very cool. <laughs> uh, Jeff Yosko. No, I, I don't think I'm related to him. John Yosko. Oh, uh, we started off on 10 here. Oops. We got a $10 Wait, start. Uh, we're looking, start the clock. Right, I'm starting the clock. All right, we got a $10 start. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, you have a ten, a $5 credit. That works. 18 <laughs> beers. Thank you. You want your chair back, brother? It's comfy, ain't it? It is, dude. You got the setup. Uh, we dug a few of these Paul Jones whiskeys out of our dump. Yeah. Um, never found i mean we never found any one. bigger ones but just the little just the little uh sample size ones we where the dump that we dig by had a couple of hotels next to it uh in the town the so. turn of century they had a um oil boom yeah so the, the, the town was very active in turn of the century late 1800s it's a small and, town uh, if you see it now you would never know yeah paul garcia at 11. 11. We need twelve dollars or more. Um, but yeah, they they had a ton of whiskey bottles. We find a lot, a lot of whiskey bottles and a lot of stomach uh, bottles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything Kentucky, I'm all over it. Kirsten, all right, right. we'll get hop on this one, man. Louisville, Kentucky. We got Forty-eight. Do we seconds. have her info? Kirsten, did you send us your information? Kirsten. Kirsten. Kirsten White. Sorry. Yeah. I know. I recognize her from. Uh, Creek Diggers yeah. as well. Just make sure you send us your info at drippylipauctions at gmail.com. All right, we need eleven dollars or twelve dollars or more. Show them the, uh, the embossing on it. As you guys can see, real neat. It's kind of hard to see there, but yeah, it says Paul Jones whiskey. Say Louisville on it. Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. 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 Coming down to ten seconds. We need twelve dollars or more. Twelve dollars or more. Ah, sweet, Kirsten. Nice. Fifteen, Sherry Morgan. F Fifteen at Sherry Morgan. That's our timer. All right. Running Time. down to lag. Five, four, three, two, one. Sherry Morgan got the double for fifteen dollars. Very Great. nice, Sherry. Congratulations and thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Whiskey and shoe polish. That was for how much? Fifteen dollars to Sherry Morgan. Nice pickup. Is, that, is that all you got, Ty? Or you got? Uh, any? I, I got. Uh, I'll do one more. Okay. Uh, just this jug. Okay. I, mean, I don't think it's gonna fit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah. Uh, Eighteen Bs. Let me check real quick. Do you think? Shipping wise, tonight's it's auction. Gonna be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Just put this plain beer bottle. You think <laughs> that's worth more than that? That's all right, let's <laughs> see. Are you sure? Yeah, just a dollar. Sure. Yeah. Toss it up there. It's in Bosco. Cool. I mean, that's, that's, that's All right, let's see. 18 Bs. Where did you send yeah. that to? You're good. He's, he's, oh, is he? He's okay. good. Yep. He, 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 uh, he sent us $5, so he has a $5, um, credit. $5 yeah. credit. Oh, Sherry Morgan. Yeah. You don't even have to do yeah, the shipping. Yeah, I'll meet you right in town. Yeah, yeah, that, that works. Just send Tyler or one of us a, uh, an email so we can chat in, uh, on Facebook or something, and, and we'll, we'll link up and get you to them so you don't have to pay shipping. That works. 
All right, I, I just have one more here. Uh, it's just a plain unembossed beer bottle from what the 1890s. Uh, Let's yeah, see, it's, it's a. It uh, doesn't go all the way up. Yeah, so we need us. Blown, blown in mold. Um, see. You got yeah. You got your light, Jimbo. Yeah. Blown in mold version. Um, it does have some embossing on the base, actually. Um, it says. C R C and B Co. R C and B Company. Like I said, we're out of Western PA. Um, that was dug out of the dump, correct? This, yeah, this bottle might have some kind of ties to yeah, the local not, area. Yeah, not completely sure where that brewery is from. But, uh... How do you want to start it off at, Ty? I'll start two bucks on that one. Two bucks on the blown in mold amber beer embossed on the bottom. And that's just a neat little one to have. If you're just starting out a collection and you mm -hmm. guys like, you know, you're just getting into bottles. Two nothing... bucks you put up in your window and have sunshine in it. Right. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful little amber. All that clicking in the background, Liz says, you all came prepared with a spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> Paul says, close, close to, to Chester. Chester. Am I close to Chester? That's... Uh... That's How far how, is Chester from? That's the Ohio West Virginia fan isn't it? That's what. Yeah, we we drove. Yeah, yeah, think, yeah, we drove through there. We I know exactly where that's at. It uh, could be about an hour for me. I'm pretty sure that's. Uh, we'll check. We'll check and see how far it is. We just need a two dollars start on this. I gotta move this chair back. Yeah, that's by Eastland. It's by Eastland. Oh yeah. yeah. Never, I, I drove through there. Going yeah. up to our spot. Yeah, we are close to Chester, West Virginia. It, it could be a West. We found a couple West Virginia bottles. So what was it? RC and B Company. Yeah, RC and B Company. RC and B. We just need a two dollar start on this. We'll give it another ten seconds, and if not, we'll pull it. All right, guys, we'll pull this one. Thank you very much. That's Tyler's run. You want to do some relics next? I got a couple Sweet. little, uh, got some bottle, a little variety here, guys. Relics. Yeah, relics a couple and A little combo. I got a marble coming up, too. Take All a right, break guys. on some bottles. Do some relics. All right, guys. First, I'm going to go with something a little different we have here do you have a flashlight james have one on my phone. does this one yeah, work that my phone. that's only a black okay. light yeah we have a draft style barrel head root beer it's just a neat probably you know, 1960s and pretty good i mean it's just a neat little decorative piece draft style barrel head root beer it's an old pull top version you guys Hotel can see version it's got some rust on it but if you toss it's, it in some citric acid it'll eat that rust yeah. away just a neat little display piece yeah nice little relic it's hard to get hands from that age in that shape yeah they were they, really kept. yeah exactly they had to be in the right conditions uh to keep that paint and label and everything i'll start this one out of the buck guys go ahead and start me out of a dollar on this on the draft style barrel head root beer. 12 fluid ounce. What's up, Corey? How you doing, Corey? Paul says one dollar. Let's roll. Yeah, it's just a, the one dump we were at. I had a couple um I had a Cherokee red one too, right? Yeah, I got a really awesome looking Cherokee red. Uh there you go back. Yeah, I, probably same era, probably 60s. You're from Washington, Oregon, 18 bees. Cool. Do you keep bees? Are you a beekeeper? That's always something that I wanted to do. 42 people. Awesome. Sweet. James and 43 yeah. likes. Sweet. Thank you, guys. $2 or more on the Barrelhead Root Beer Draft Style Can. 
a mouthful. Yeah, sure. right? It's a good thing I like to talk. <laughs> it's more of just a display piece, you know, just something. You know, I know you guys are here for the bottles, but just wanted to mix it up a little bit and throw in. I got a, you know, marble. I got a couple other little things here coming up next. Uh, yeah, we hate pool taps too, Indiana Tones. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's weird to actually find the the rest of the can not in horrible shape. Detecting wise, we find so many crushed up cans. It's really irritating. <laughs> I don't I don't dig uh, nickel or pull tab singles anymore. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just I just, I just so that's why I don't find any gold rings or well, I just no pull tabs. The gold rings would be easier to find, huh? Chrissy Rigney's at two dollars. I think she just says me too. Oh, you, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we need two dollars or more on on the. Uh, on the Barrelhead Root Beer, draft style can, two dollars or more, less than ten seconds. Do you know if that's right. a local company, Mike? I'm not yeah. sure. All right, guys, we're on lag. Five, four, three, two, one. Sweet, All right, Paul. we got that nice for pickup dollar. for a buck. Heck yeah, man! Root beer. Barrel head and that was Paul yep, Garcia. Paul Garcia. Nice job, Paul. All right, Paul. Good one. All right, guys, I got a combo coming up here. Just a display. What's that? Do you want to use this just to display? I was going to get rid of do this one, too, this, too. Do you just want to do it later, and we can put, like, the other, use other stuff to display on it so they don't roll around? That's fine. I was just going to throw it all in there and oh, okay. just go with it. All right, guys, I got a combo coming up. You can see this little tiny plate here. I don't know if it's like a dollhouse plate. But you can see on the bottom it says Victory China. Okay. Just a real tiny little plate. It's got a little rust on it. There's no damage though on it. Victory China. So we're going to put that up there. And I also have a little tiny doll head. A little bit creepy. Found this, I believe, metal detecting in an old field. It's a little creepy doll head. Then we're going to go, I have a white and yellow marble as well. I have no clue about marble, so you guys uh, can help me out on that if you know. White and yellow marble. And then for all you other history buffs out there, we have some Doug coal miners tags coal checks. yeah 77 number 75 and number one on the miners tags old pittsburgh history here guys so we're going to run this as a little bundle the doll head the marble the little plate and the miners tags Okay, you guys can start me out on this combo here. The rest of the doll, well, that's the thing. Sometimes you only find just parts of the doll or... Uh, well, the, typically, there's just the doll head. Much. Cherry's at 15. Sewn to a... Uh, yeah, sometimes they're just sewn to a, a fabric body. And then you find the arms, the legs, and the head. Yeah. Mike, maybe if you pick up the camera so it's not like into the plate. Yeah, still dirt on it still, that's right. So what do we need? 16 or higher. I might go to grab my other tripod too, because I got one that tilts. I think it's out in the yeah, truck. No, I'm all, I'm all right right now. It's just for this one here. 16 or higher, guys, on the doll head, marble, minor tag, and little China, victory China. I believe it's a dollhouse plate. It's a small, Very smaller plate. Saucer. Yeah. A neat little saucer, though. Yeah. I'm probably going to use it to put some of my coins on. Yeah, yeah. We'll use it for prop later. Yeah. It's a neat little, neat little combo. Though. The doll head's kind of creepy, too. You guys can see it here. Yeah, she's a little creepy looking. Next, a little broken, but 
neat little piece there though. Sixteen dollars or higher, guys. Tanya says, "Poor doll." <laughs> Let's see where we're at. You're still at fifteen dollars or higher, guys. We've got about fifteen seconds left. On the combo. Five seconds left, guys. 16 or higher. <whistles> On lag time, five, four, three, two, one. All right, Sherry got that at $15. Nice pickup, Sherry. All right, nice little combo there. Get all this little dirt, a little leftover dirt on the table here. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I got a nice bottle coming up now. Nothing got a broke. got a straight side Coke coming up. I know some of you guys were looking for this one here. Sweet. Coca Cola <laughs> Bottling Works, York, PA. It's got a blank slug plate on it. Registered seven fluid ounces. Uh, like I said, Coca Cola Company, Bottling Works, you work PA. That's a really cool bottle. Yeah, no damage on this one at all, guys. It's a light aqua color, blank slug plate, Coca Cola Bottling Works, you work PA. Right. Let me fix this thing a little bit here. We're going to let her glow too, a little bit. All right, guys, we're at $20. We're going to go ahead and start the clock. Need 21 or higher on the York PA Coca Cola Bottling Works Straight Side Coke. Let's see what she looks like with the light off. Nice ice blue color. Sweet. That looks real nice with the light. Blank slug plate, no damage, guys. Straight Side Coke. Time period, I'd say that's, uh, is it, let me see if it's machine made. It's machine made, but. Yeah, it's machine made, so I'd say up to. Probably 1910 19. to 1920, possibly earlier. Let's say Industrial Revolution started in the 1880s. Right. It could be, pro okay, possibly then. It could be from then. 1900 uh, to 1900. 1915? Yeah. Yeah, because 1915 they started the hobble skirts. So, yeah, probably 1900 to 1915. That's a real nice icy blue color, though, guys. Don't see straight side of cokes that often. Yeah. Pre-1950. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. Got a minute left, guys. A little under a minute. 21 or higher. On the straight side, York PA. Blank slug plate. Coke. No damage. Pristine bottle. Gorgeous. Ring neck straight side cokes are the most common. That's the ring that. Yeah. Oh yeah. On there. Snipers are coming. <laughs> Better get them in. Got, Got 15 seconds, guys. Need 21 or higher. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it, brother. Five seconds, guys. All right, we're on lag. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Deborah got that right at the end at thirty-three dollars. Nice. nice, Deborah. Nice bottle, Deborah. Trav said that the double diamonds that they find in their dump are ring necks as well. Deborah got that at thirty-three. Nice bottle, Deborah. Sweet. I think. So. Oh, I would love to dig it straight side. Yeah, man. I keep trying, man. <laughs> keep trying. I get pieces. Yep, old. so many pieces. All right, let's see what we got next here. I think I got two more bottles for this run, guys. We're going to do a little tiny ink here first. A little Sanford zinc. Real nice shape. Cleaned up real nice. 
a little bit of rust staining there, but no chips, no damage on it. Real nice little, tiny little clear ink, Sanford Zinc. Has the number 219 on the bottom. I'll get a measurement for you guys too on it. It looks real nice with the light there too. Okay, let me get a measurement. It's probably only an inch or two tall. Pretty small guy. Let's see, yeah, it's about two and a quarter inches tall. Not very big. Like I said, nice little length though. Small little Sanford zinc. You guys go ahead and start the bit on this one. No damage on it. Just a little rust on it, it needs washed, but uh, cleaned up a little bit more, but nice little Sanford zinc, guys. Go bidder's choice on this. Yeah, that's a heck of a nice bottle, Deb. Real clean, straight side Coke. No caseware on it. You got a nice bottle there. Heck yeah. Leave this one up for another minute or so, guys. Got to throw out a bit on the Sanford Zinc. Gary Buck says $5. All right, we'll run it, Gary. We're gonna need six dollars or higher on the Sanford Inc. You you doing some of those too? Mm -hmm. We got some silver coins coming up later, guys. If you guys are interested in coins, we got some nice silver coins coming up. It's clinging right next to me right now. James is going through them. You doing any of these too? Oh yeah. And we got some Civil War bullets, too. Yeah, Civil War three ringers. Six dollars or higher, guys, on the Sanford Zinc. Any of you guys getting out this weekend or going thrifting? or It's about all we can do. We're going to try to get out tomorrow and uh, go to the dump. There's a dump in town. My buddy just got a uh, skull and crossbones poison out of and yeah. I got a... Uh, I only dug there about two hours last week and got a, just a, I believe it was an eerie beer. It wasn't a blob, but it was a blown and mold beer. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and just and just see what it's like, see if it's real frozen or not. And we we got about four to five inches of snow up here, so. But uh, we'll see we'll see how it is. But we've been doing a lot of just kind of going to antique stores, seeing what we can find, just to kind of get out a little bit, just to see, just to get some 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 somewhat of a treasure hunt in us so six bucks or higher guys sanford zinc 213 or 219 no damage six bucks or higher guys double diamond yeah dude those those double diamond cokes are ridiculous Five seconds. All right, guys, we're on lag. Four, three, two, one. Got that for five dollars, Gary. We'll pick up Gary. Gary got the Sanfords for five dollars. All right, guys, this is my last run, or I'm sorry, my last bottle of this run here. It's in a little bit nicer of a bottle. Let me get y'all situated here. Zoomed out. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, another York Brewing Company. It's a mug base though. Cool. Nice mug base, very strong embossing. York Brewing Company, trademark registered York, PA. Real nice mug base. No damage, real strong embossing. It's got some neat little marks up in the lip. Little stretch bubbles. Blown in mold. Real nice mug base though, guys. Okay. Let me get this set up, guys. Looks great in the the light, light aqua color. Alright guys. We'll start this one out at $5, guys. That's a 
heck of a deal yeah, for that. For a thing. mug base. Yeah. Paul's at ten. Alright, let's run it, guys. Need eleven bucks or higher, guys. For the mug base York Brewing Company. Gorgeous bottle. Fifteen, Jeff Sat. We need sixteen or higher. I've never seen one of these. Guys, get a little light show on it. That's Beautiful bottle, sick. though. The icy blue, light aqua. Gorgeous. It's a nice little bottle. Scooch it in a little bit. Mm. 16 or higher, guys. That's a nice bottle, though. Just, it's got the nice little glow to it with the light under it. Those, the, the mug base is so sick. Paul's at 17. Do you know how they would have did that, James? I have no idea. Yeah. It's got the nice eagle on it, though. It's real strong embossing on it. The pictorial bottles with animals, animal pictorials, are so sweet. They display so nice. I mean, it just catches your eye. Got 50 seconds left, guys. I need 18 bucks or higher. Wow. I don't want to turn the light back on. It looks so pretty yeah, with the light off. It, yeah. Leave it there. It's got the eagle on top of the barrel. That is so sweet. York PA. 18 bucks or higher, guys. It's almost got it like a, a lady's leg neck on it, too. Right? It's curvy. Mm hmm. Curvy. Sweet little mug base, though. Mm hmm. 15 seconds left, guys. 18 or higher. York PA mug base. Blown and mold. Sherry Altman's at 18. Five seconds left. Paul's at 20. We're on lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. Jeff Jolla, if you got that at $24. Sweet, brother. Good deal. Yeah, man, that's a beautiful bottle. Deborah, you're just out for about two seconds. Jeff Jolliffe at 22. Or, I'm sorry, beautiful. 24. Jeff Jolliffe. Make sure you guys are refreshing your live chats to make sure that they are on the current time. He got Maybe. that for... $24. Nice pickup, Jeff. Yeah, good stuff, man. Alright, that's all I got for this run, guys. Who's up next, Jimbo? Do you have any more time? No, I'm good. Okay. Alright, guys, we're gonna do a couple um a couple more relics and coins if that's alright with you. Ins. Um I'm gonna use Mike's little plate. The plate does not come with <laughs> But we're going to do a couple coins here. All righty. Got a little, nice little variety package here. We've got two three-ringer Civil War bullets. Um, these were dug at a... They were dug... They're dropped three-ringer bullets. Uh, they were from the Union soldiers during the Civil War. Um, very cool old relics, uh, 1860s. This is a buffalo head nickel. Unfortunately, the date is wiped off of it, but still a nice little coin. We got a 1903 Indian head penny. And then here we've got a 1910 barber dime. And a 1940 Mercury dime. So four, four coins and two three ringers. I'm going to set it up on the plate right here. Just give me one second. I think I saw a couple bids coming in already. Just give it one second. Mike, how do you shut this uh, the rotation? There we go. I got it. If you need to make it brighter, you can too with that knob. Okay. Let's get these set up here. Oh my. I'm trying, guys. Sorry. I don't know how that's going to look, but uh, we'll do our best. Okay. 
Six items, one money. That's right, Mark. What do we got for a start here? We got a $10 start from Paul Garcia. Go ahead and run it. The coins do have dates. I don't know. Mike, do you know why it's starting like 10 seconds early? Yeah, let me uh, change it real quick, guys. The dates on the coins. Oh, oh sorry, fellas. Yeah, one second, guys. The dates on the coins, the Barber Dime at the top is 1910. The uh, Buffalo Nickel does not have a date. The Mercury Dime here is 1940, and this Indian Head is 1903. And these are Civil War three ringer bullets. All right, like I said, $10 start from Paul Garcia. I'm gonna toss it up here. Don't twist it. Okay. I mean, you go to you go to Gettysburg and you you've got to pay almost ten bucks for one three ringer. So yeah. Someone's gonna get a good deal on this. Plus six two silver dimes. Six items, one money. Two three ringer bullets. Liz is at twelve dollars. <laughs> How much is my watch? <laughs> I I bought it. Ah, I think it was like sixty bucks, but it's pretty well worn. Paul Garcia's at 13 for the little coin lot with two three-ringer Civil War bullets. Liz is at 15. Sherry Altman's at 16. We need 17 or more. Coming down on to one minute, guys. Some silver. There's nothing better than seeing a silver dime. Crick Diggers is at 18. Two three ringer bullets. Civil War three ringer bullets. We need 19 or more, guys. 19 or more. Six items, one price. Chrissy Rigney's at $20. Less than a minute, about 45 seconds left. Someone's gonna get a deal. Yeah, man. This is sweet. This is a sweet little. I didn't know you were gonna be offering this up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jerome, I don't, I'm not sure if we have your information. Make sure you send us your PayPal information to drippylipauctions at gmail.com. The bullets were dug, I believe they were dug in the south, um, but I got them at a, uh, I got them at a, a seeded hunt. Back in the 80s, I sold a bunch of mini balls for 25 cents each. Times have changed. That's true, man. They're getting two dollars and fifty cents a gallon of gas. Yeah, definitely change. All right, we need twenty-one or more. Coming down to it, that's the clock going into lag time. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Sherry Altman for twenty-one dollars. She was just ahead of you, Becca. Twenty twenty-one dollars to Sherry Altman. Chrissy, you were out by about three seconds. Make sure you guys are refreshing your live chats. Very nice score, Sherry. Very cool. But don't worry, guys. We have some more relics coming up. I got another little setup here. We've got ourselves another Union Civil War three ringer. Yeah, go ahead and enter that in. Thank you, Ty. I appreciate it. Skirt this in. Sorry, bro. You're good. That was for 21? 21. To Sherry Altman, I'm fairly certain. Yep. Sherry yep, Altman. Sherry Altman. Okay, so, so for our next one, we got another three ringer. Another Civil War three ringer. It's got a little bit of the dirt still inside it. This was a dropped bullet, so it wasn't shot. So someone was in their pack trying to reach for something, maybe trying to reload, and they dropped their bullet. Um, that's why it's in perfect condition. You find them with them with the tips smashed in, mangled, or you can even find them carved. Um, I did check all the bases. I don't see any stars in any of them. Um, right from the lines too, if they're fired, right? Yeah, yeah, or uh, crimped uh, top hat where they would have had to pull the bullet if it was stuck. So we're going to do another three ringer as well as five silver mercury dimes. Cheers. Yeah. Loving it, bro. There's nothing more beautiful than silver dimes. We got a 1941, a 1935, 
another 1941, another 1941, and a 1945 Mercury Dime lot. Let's check and see if there's any mints on these. The mint would be right here underneath the branch. I don't see any. I don't see a star in the bowl. I think that's dirt. Yeah, I think it's just, just dirt stuck in the base, but hey, it could be. You get to check it if you buy it. So we got the five Mercury Dime lot with one Civil War three ringer. Go ahead and start it off at, uh, we'll start it off at $8. $8 start on this, guys. Yeah, maybe a 1794. <laughs> yeah, man, that thing was crazy. Here, I'll hold this tie if you want. Oh, you got it? Yeah, just, just okay. grab a chair and stuff on it. $8 for Luke Collins. We'll start the clock. 15 on Liz. Yep, Liz is at 15. We need 16 or more. Just make sure you can see the clock tie. Five Mercury Dimes with a three ringer Civil War bullet. All right, sorry, sorry, Lori. We're I'm just sorry. trying. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we'll try and get it. Yeah, how's that? Is that pretty steady? You guys can see it pretty good. We're working on getting a new uh, tripod that's so we don't have to hold it. We're at $15. We need 16 or more. Five Mercury Dimes with one three ringer Civil War bullet. Mini ball. Thank you so much, guys, for checking in tonight. We really appreciate This is our first auction, and uh, we really... <laughs> I, know you, I know you have a beautiful 1734 Real, buddy. That thing's gorgeous. $20 for Chrissy Rigney. Liz is at $21. We got 48 seconds left. We need $22 or more. Nice all the people uh, we know who came on to support us. We were yeah, thank you very much for supporting us, guys. Chrissy Rigney's at 22. Liz is at 25. 30 seconds left on the clock. We need 26 or more. $26 or more. 20 seconds left on the clock. Six items, one money. Five Mercury Dimes with one three ringer. Chrissy Rigney's at $30. We need 31 or more. Less than 10 seconds. Five seconds left on the clock. $31 or more. All right, we're hitting into our lag time now. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Chrissy Rigney, you hit, got that at $30. Nice pickup. Very nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Those Mercury Dimes are beautiful. Some of my favorite coins to find. All right, guys. I'll do my last little coin relic uh, run right here. We got some heavy hitters in this one. You guys aren't going to want to miss this. Uh, like that. Like that spin this guy around all right guys so we got another three ringer this does have a little bit of damage to it just from drop being dropped nothing in the base beautiful drop three ringer coin wise though we have another mercury dime from 1920 looks like 28 on that and we have a Barber Quarter, 1904 Barber Quarter, as well as a 1906 V-Nickel. And I'm not quite sure on this Indian. Looks to be an 1889 Indian. We'll do a nice close-up of all these coins. That 1906 V-Nickel is pretty sharp. The back's pretty smooth, but it's still definitely visible. Nice little Mercury Dime, 1928, straight out of the Roaring Twenties, right before the Great Depression. And then a Barber Quarter, 1904 Barber Quarter. It's fairly worn, but it was probably in circulation for quite a long time. <laughs> yeah, 
It is almost as old as your house. All right. Five. Five item auction, one money. Can we start this one out at $10? $10 start. Luke's at 12. We'll go ahead and run it, buddy. Liz jumped it up to 25. We need 26 or more on the four coin and one Civil War bullet lot. We've got the Barber Quarter, the V Nickel, the Indian Head, and the Mercury Dime. I dug a lot of these. I have a lot of them in my personal collection. A lot of these I've accumulated through uh, seeded hunts as well as other collections. Uh, Tanya's at 26. We need 27 or more. 27 or more. Yeah, the silver coins, they come out as clean as, as the day they were pretty much dropped whenever you find them metal detecting. But the, the Indian head pennies and the V nickels come out pretty roached. Um yeah just just the metal makeup of them they they deteriorate in the ground with all the different acidities in the soil um but you can find some really nice ones if it's in the great ground conditions we need 27 or more 50 seconds on the clock 27 or more Twenty-seven or more on the four coin and one bullet lot. 1904 Barber Quarter. 1928 Mercury Dime. 1906 V Nickel. And 1889 Indian Head Penny. We need 27 or more. Ten seconds left on the clock. Yeah, there's going to be some snipers. Get your bids in, guys. Coming down to the wire. All right, we're on lag time, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Twenty-six dollars to Tanya Anuska. Nice buy. Kirsten, you were just out by like a millisecond. Dang. Heck <laughs> of a pickup, Tanya. Yeah, nice. That's an awesome little lot. Sweet. Very nice. Very nice. All right, I'll run two bottles. Well, one bottle we've got right here. This is another juice drink. This is Royal Purple. It's a blown and mold style corn top juice bottle. And I've seen these with SCA coloring that are so dark. They turn very, very dark amethyst, which is pretty fitting for the Royal Purple. Um, it's a nice little juice bottle. It was, it was a grape juice. Royal purple was a grape juice. Um, this is probably 1905 to 1915, uh, blown and mold style bottle. Let's go ahead and start this guy off at $5, $5 start on the Royal purple. Get a little rotation on here and light. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. $5 start on the Royal Purple Blown in Mold. Have a good night, Deb. Thank you very much for checking in. Sweet pickups, too. You got some awesome bottles tonight. Have a good night. Thank you, Deb. All right, Chrissy Rigney's at $5. We'll start the clock. Go ahead and get them bids in, guys. Thank you so much. We need $6 or more on the Royal Purple 1900 to about 1915 blown and mold royal purple grape juice we need six dollars or more share chrissy's ahead of everyone seated hunts mark are uh hunts that you pay uh, a certain amount and they plant coins in the ground and then everyone gets to start uh at the same time and you dig as many coins as you can till there aren't any left 
It's a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of really cool people. Um, that's the best thing about this. Yeah, that's the that's honestly the best thing about this auction or this auction, this yeah. this hobby. You know, bottle digging and uh, metal detecting. We have met so many cool people, and we found some really cool stuff. And we've just just had some really awesome memories made through these hobbies that are you know they're fun we do it for fun and uh it's just an a bonus you know all right see you later liz thanks for st popping in tonight you got some awesome bottles as well sherry morgan's at six seated hunts are awesome hopefully you don't fall asleep at any more of them charlie <laughs> don't worry brother i'll wake you up <laughs> We got less than 30 seconds on the clock for the Royal Purple. See you later, Liz. Thanks again. Yeah, hopefully if you guys come to a couple seated hunts, uh, we'll most likely be to a couple of them around the area. We got 10 seconds left on the Royal Purple. We need $7 or more. $7 or more. All right, guys, we're hitting lag. Five. Four, three, two, one. Shh. Valerie snuck it in at the last second. Seven dollars to you. Very nice pickup, Valerie. Shut this clock off. Nice. At the last second. Very nice. Very nice. Good pickup. Uh, I don't know if you want to... We'll enter this in real quick. Michael. Yep. Over on. Yeah. Did you get the for the one for Ta for Tanya? What was that? The five dimes? Or no, that was the barber quarter one, huh? Mm -hmm. Barber quarter. That was twenty six. Or we'll have to go back yeah, in the we'll chat. Back. Yeah. So royal, one right there. royal purple. For seven to Valerie. All right, guys. On to the next one. Got a beautiful insulator here. This was dug out of a dump. It does have some damage on the base of it. The little ringlets, the, the stubbles that are on the base, there's a couple busted off right here. Um, it does have a chip right here as well as some around the edge, but other than that, it's in pretty good condition. It's a beautiful teal, teal colored, uh, insulator. People call them railroad insulators. They were, uh, set on telephone poles and had wires wrapped around them. Um, beautiful, beautiful glass. It's a HG company, which I'm pretty sure is Hemingway, uh, patented May 2nd. 1893 beautiful beautiful insulator here we find we found a couple insulators but this one was pretty big and pretty nice i was happy to find it see you later luke thank you so much for stopping out all right uh, let's get a let's get a three dollar start on the teal insulator. Three dollar start. We'll probably see you there too, Luke. <laughs> we always check into Crick Diggers. Three dollar start. on the teal insulator. Did you and Corey get out today, Travis? You're brave if you did. Yeah, it was snowing pretty good here. Yeah, freezing. All right, Tanya's at three. Well, we'll go ahead and run it. Teal insulator patented May... Second, 1893. These are awesome in window sills. They look gorgeous. They look so beautiful. Go ahead and get a little bit closer there. Light show it a little longer. 
Sure, go ahead. Fire it up. Let's get a light show. Indiana Tones is at four dollars. Ew. Ew. Thanks. All right, Sherry. Thank you so much. Have an awesome night. Thank you so much for stopping in. Getting some sweet bottles. Oh, yeah, man. we're gonna try and get out tomorrow too, Trav. <clears throat> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we feel. <laughs> <laughs> Still see some on pools where they tore out the old railroad not far. That's awesome. So you probably have a nice little collection that you can just walk over to and grab. That's sweet. They come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Um, I'm not really an insulator guy, so I don't know a whole bunch about them. But they, like I said, they display beautifully in, in uh, uh, window sills. 45 seconds left on the clock. We need $5 or more. On the teal, 1893. Oh, it actually has some embossing on this side, too. It says Petticoat. P-E-T-T-I-C-O-A-T. -T -T Petticoat. Beautiful teal insulator. $5 or more. Oh, good luck then, brother. You'll be chipping through some ice. We'll see, though. Five seconds left on the clock, $5 or more. All right, we're hitting lag time, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Indiana Tones, $4 on the teal insulator. Nice pickup, man. Good score. That thing's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful pickup, bro. Thank you so much. That's my five run. Michael's going to run a couple more. This is yeah, my last run. Yeah, so. this is Michael's last run, and then I'll probably have one more run as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, that I'll write that in there. What was it? Uh, the teal insulator? The teal insulator, Indiana Tones, for $4. All right, guys, let's see. I got mm, three or four bottles here. We're going to run a mason. Here, we have a perfect, ball perfect mason. Just a little staining there. No damage, though. Real nice color. It's got a nine on the bottom. Ball mason. Real nice color i love the the color on these older ones yeah that aqua is gorgeous any damage on it no damage on it Beautiful. just some staining you can look up the uh the date on the ball mason type the uh the script on it they, that's how you kind of date them i'm not totally sure on them yeah. yeah better choice on that one guys you go ahead and throw me out a bit on this ball perfect mason that's awesome he works on utility lines so that's perfect Huh. Very cool. <laughs> hey, honey. Can you grab me that up there? Thank you. Finish choice, guys. We'll, get, we'll hold it up there for a couple more seconds and uh, see if anyone wants to bet on it. <laughs> Thank you. Honey. All right. $2, Valerie says. We'll go ahead and run it. Two dollars. Hate to tell you what this insulator looks like. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it looked real nice though with the light. When then we hit the light off with it and uh, the little light on the turntable. Yeah, that looks sweet. We're out riding now and it's snowing again, so we'll see. Travis says. Yeah. You guys out uh, on quads or you out in snowmobiles, Travis? You need $3 or higher, guys, on the Ball Perfect Mason. I do have another combo coming up, guys, with Marvel included. I 
let's see here. I have the same blood on my hutch. It's my, it's great in my farmhouse. Yeah, a lot of people like those. Uh, you can see a lot of these kind of at antique stores and stuff, and they're good uh, for decoration. Let's see here. Four dollars. Kathy bucks at four dollars. We need five dollars or higher, guys, on the ball perfect mason. Corey says 1910 to 1925 ball. But Sherry's at five. We need five dollars or higher, guys. Six dollars. I'm sorry, six dollars or higher. <laughs> five dollars. Corey, Sherry got him before you at five. We need six or higher. Thirty-eight people still watching. We appreciate it, guys. We got three seconds left. All right, we're on lag time, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Sherry, you got that at five. Kathy Buck, you were just a millisecond late. Good pickup, Sherry. Nice, very nice. Good pickup, Sherry. Five bucks for that thing. That's sweet. Valerie. You were just out by a little bit too. Sherry Morgan for $5. Make sure you guys are refreshing your live chats and your videos to, so that you can cut down on lag time. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to see if there's any interest in the ACLs. And if you guys were on the Crick Diggers auction, you guys know that the applied color labels are a little bit later. Any of you PA people here might, this just says, cheer up, a delightful beverage, a real super charged mixer it's from the crown bottling works in erie pa it says there's no substitute for for cheer up a sparkling bubbling beverage and mixer good always for hospital home and general use it was a, it had like citric acid i'm not sure what was it in it does it say Contains carbonated water, sugar, flavor, citric acid, salt, lithia, and soda citrates. So it's probably like kind of like Sprite. But there's no damage on it. You can see a little bit of the ACL, the color labels coming off. So we'll start this one at a dollar if you guys are interested. Crown Bottling Works, Erie PA. If there's any PA fans in the house for one dollar. If not, we'll pull it. I got a combo coming up next, guys. 7-Up knockoff? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, probably. I dug one missing. I think so. PA. Yes, Tanya. PA. That's right. Missing a C in perfect. What do you guys think that's worth? Well, we're we're kind of trying to figure out how much it's worth tonight, too. Yeah. <laughs> right? So far, we need a dollar bid on it. Dollar bid on the cheer up. up. Cheer up, it's a buddy. delightful beverage, it says. We'll let it go here another uh, 10 seconds or so, and we'll pull up the combo next, guys. Paul's a, at $1. Paul? Paul says, hey, I'll get in on it. Heck yeah, man. All right, let's run it. Erie PA. Cheer up. Sherry's at two. Different. It says different on the one side as well. Different. Healthful. 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 Hmm. So maybe it was somewhat of a medicinal. It says for hospitals and uh, for hospital and general use. So that's interesting. Three dollars or higher, guys. Susie Q, I'm not sure if we have your information or not. Did you end up having to send your PayPal information to our email by chance? Yeah, it is a nice emerald green, John. Looks nice on your light. Let's check it out and see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, that's neat. Dude, that looks sweet. Paul's at three. That lights the whole thing up green, yeah. doesn't it? That's pretty neat. You should keep it like that. That's cool. Good for some upset stomachs. Yeah, that's what they say. Uh, it's like a 7 ale. Up or Ginger Ale, you know, and you're, it helps like the body ale. out. 54 seconds, guys. This history that a bottle like this is so intriguing. Hmm. 
It is pretty cool, especially because it's kind of local to us. Susie, you said you emailed us at 6.35 p.m. Pacific time. So that's 12. about five minutes ago. And then she said, yep. Let's see. Susan. Yep, we got you, Susie. You're good to go. Jerome, Dr. Moon, you got you too, buddy. B12. Now, isn't that, isn't there an adverse side effects to B12? Or You're asking the wrong dude. 20 seconds left, know. guys. <laughs> on the 7-Up knockoff. Cheer up ACL out of Erie, PA. $4 or higher. On the cheer up. Yeah. All right, guys, we're on lag time. Four, three, two, one. Got that for $3, Paul. Nice. Good pickup, Paul. Seven up knockoff. Cheer up. Cheer up, buddy. You gotta cheer up. That was for three dollars for Paul. All right, guys, this is gonna be my last one for the night. It's gonna be a combo. All right. Let me get it in here. So we have a little milk glass here. It's a little milk glass container here that says on it. What's that say, James? N Nadinola, Nadinola cream, a complexion beautifier. Let me see. Is that N A D I? Or is that Nadnola? N A D. Nadnola? Is that an I? I can't tell. It's really kind of pushed together. If it yeah, is. Yeah, N A Nadinola. N A D I N O L A. Nadinola. You can see it's got cream. the top to it. It's like a little coffin. Right. But in that, we're going to include a couple other things. I'll put that up here, guys. Now, this was a neat little... This is plastic, but it's a neat little... I believe it's an Indian dressed with a musket here. He's plastic, but I was digging in a dump uh, with some ACLs, probably three or four feet down, and we'd come across this guy in the hole. Clean him up, but it's just a kind of a neat like piece. A trapper. He's got like a trapper's hat. Yeah. But he's an, it's a neat little piece. I bet you he sat on a horse because his legs are bow-legged yeah. like that. And we also have here, this is something I found metal detecting probably about, do you have, where's your light at, James? Do you have your light again? It's hard to see. A little, I don't know if it's a paperweight or it's, it's pretty heavy though, but it's a little duck. It's a little brass duck. Oops. Good thing it's that wasn't hall. glass. Good thing that wasn't your toe. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can see here. It almost looks hand -etched. It might be Davy Crockett. But yeah, you can see here, it's a little duck though. It's very heavy though for the for the size of it, but neat little duck though. Yeah, I'm gonna chuck sweet. him in. Oops. Davy Crockett just fell. And then also I'm gonna include this marble, green and white, little swirl. How big is the milk glass container? Oh, uh, it's probably only... Uh, I'm going to say he's probably two inches tall with a lid on it and then three and a quarter inches long. Bronze duck, yeah. So we got the marble, the duck, the milk glass, and Davy Crockett. And also we're going to include this religious medal here. Now it's written, there's some foreign language on it. I'm not sure what it says. It's Mother Mary, baby Jesus on it. Not precious metal. Then it also has, it looks like, I don't know if that's the Vatican or what that is on it. But we're just going to throw a little combo together, guys. And you guys can go ahead and start the bid. Paul starts at five. So we're going to go ahead and run it. All right, guys, we need $6 or higher. That's cool, Jim. He says there's a Frontier toy set from the 50s that had a... Had a Davy Crockett in there just like this one. Oh, yeah? Christine, um, Valerie's at eight. Nine dollars or higher, guys. Thank you, Sherry. We appreciate it. A little uh, nerve-wracking, but we uh, we got through it. So I think James has a few more bottles. Yeah, I have some. After this, and then yep, that'll be it for the new one. I got some other, other good stuff. 
The nine dollars or higher, guys. Chrissy's at nine. Look at Davey. He's just hanging out. I know. Look at him. He, he looks chilling. awesome, dude. That's so cool. I like that little duck. I honestly think that's like hand etched. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. He's really heavy. Thank yeah. you, Hans. We appreciate it, buddy. Look at him. It's He's been a, a ton of fun. Look at the shadow, too. too Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's wild. <laughs> Ten bucks or higher, guys, on the milk glass, duck, marble, religious metal, Davy Crockett combo. Art Deco duck. <laughs> cool. Yeah. He's a cool little piece, though. It is. He's super heavy, too, for for how little it is. Probably rang up pretty good, too, on the detector. I'm glad you liked it, Mark, and you and your son as well. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah, I'm telling you what. Travis and Corey put on a heck of a show. and They do it we, twice a week. Yeah, we told, I was telling James and Tyler, I said, man, this feels like work. This is a, you know, you got to you gotta definitely be into it and be with it the whole time. So uh, they do a heck of a job. Paul's at 10. Need 11 or higher, guys. We're on lag time, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Valerie got in there at eleven dollars right at the end. Nice night. Good job. Nice Valerie. job, Valerie. Valerie. With the milk glass combo. Eleven dollars to Valerie. Alright guys, that's it for the night for me. James is gonna come up and run a couple more for the evening. Nice night, Valerie. Neat little setup, neat neat little uh, combo you got there. Hope you enjoy it. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. We get, definitely have some more bottles to run tonight. We've got a couple of poisons still to run. Some meds, an ink, and a little whiskey. We'll start it off. Trav got my candy boat and train today. Very sharp. Very nice. Hey, James, I like the booth. Yeah. Sorry, Charlie. That one's not for sale. <laughs> we do have this, though. This is a Vapo Cressling. It's got a patent date from uh, July 23rd, 1894. You can see the ribbed sides that are embossed to make sure that it was uh, not taken because it was poisonous. Um, Vapo Cresoline was actually, it was a inhalant. It was like a type of tar that would sit on a, a, a burner and you would inhale it for whooping cough and a bunch of different types of, uh, ailments of the lungs. Um, but July 23rd, that's the, um, the patent date on it right here. July 23rd, 1894. The embossing is slightly weak on this side, but it's pretty good for the Vapo Cresoline part. Um, this is a blown in mold, so probably 1890s to 1910. It does look very beautiful on the light. Uh, let's go ahead and get a $10 start on this Vapo Cresoline. $10 start. Uh, Valerie got the duck. She got it at $11, Paul. She just got it in just in time. $10 start on the Vapo Cresoline. Big light off. Yes. Nice icy blue. Yeah. Check that out. Looks gorgeous. Yeah, she sniped you, Paul. She's getting good. James dug one of these, too, in one of our first bottled yeah. videos. He, uh... Called it the pig pen. Yeah. In one of our uh, earliest bottle digging videos. Valerie's at 10. We're going to go ahead and start the clock. Yeah, I dug a, a Vapo Cresoline. Um, we had no idea what it was. It was just a cool little med bottle that we thought had some neat stippling on it. But, yeah, we did some research, and it's actually, like I said, a, uh, a poison. Do a little zoom in on it. We need eleven dollars or more. Valerie's in at ten. We need eleven dollars or more. 
funny to think when we first started how much we didn't know. Not saying that we know that much now, but yeah. we uh, dug a part of a 18, was it 1858 Ball Mason? Yeah. On the bottom of it, we were like, oh my gosh, 1858, what is this thing? And we were freaking out. And, you we, know, and obviously now we know that they're the, the Masons, but it was just, it's definitely been a learning experience the past year. Yeah, that's that's half the fun too, you know. You find a bottle and you have you never heard of it, never seen it, never seen someone dig one and you do the research on it and you read all the nasty ingredients that they took and how people could have overdosed or something. It looks like Elsa. Yeah, it is. It's like icy, icy blue. So we need $11 or more. We got 45 seconds on the clock. Yeah, a little, a little bit. A little bit of a flared curl lip. Not quite drippy. All right, guys, 30 seconds on the clock. We need 11 or more. 11 or more for the Vapo Crestoline. Patented 1894. Finding bottles is like an Easter egg hunt. It is. I mean, you just never know what you're going to pull out. All right, guys, 10 seconds left, $11 or more. I hear you, Charlie. All right, guys, we're on lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Valerie, you outbitted yourself, but Paul got in with 11 so you got it at $20. Good pickup. That's an awesome pickup for this. Vapo Crestling. These bottles are, are pretty valuable. Beautiful. Very nice, Valerie. Go ahead and enter that in. Just give us one second. Valerie's cleaning up tonight. Yeah, man. She's crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. All right, we'll do a little nice little combo here. We'll keep up with the colors. Let me zoom out. Yeah, she sma she sniped you again, Paul. <laughs> we got two Bromo seltzers. These are both machine-made Bromo seltzers, but they are the Emerson, Emerson Drug Company from Baltimore, Maryland. No damage on these guys. This base mark has like an X on it. And this one has like a diamond on it. Not too sure about those, but they have some nice little wavy patterns on them. We're going to run both of these medium-sized Bromos. <laughs> yeah, not... <laughs> oh, my. You guys are nuts. <laughs> All right, guys, let's... uh. Let's do the double Bromo. It started off at $3. Bromos are pretty pretty common. You find a good bit of them, but they display beautifully. These are machine made. They're probably, but they don't have the base script, so they're probably um, 1910 to 1930. Trav, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, these they're, they're beautiful colored bottles. Beautiful. They look so good in the windowsill. Let's get a $3 start on the two medium-sized Bromos. Jeff's at three. Let's run it. All right, we need $4 or more on the double Bromo Seltzer Emerson Drug Companies out of Baltimore, Maryland. Two for one money, baby. Two for one, baby. You can't get that anywhere. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy Rigney's at $4. We need five dollars or more. Corey's at seven, eight dollars or more. I'll tell you what, guys. I can't say it enough. Thank you so much for checking in tonight, hanging out with us. We're having a blast. I'm definitely gonna look forward to this every month. We need eight dollars or more. Make sure you refresh your lag time, refresh your pages so that you cut down on lag time. That's right, two for one, two for one, Mark. Can't beat that. We're still only at five to six seconds lag, so yeah, we're doing good on our end. We need eight dollars or more. One minute left on the clock. I get my drink, brother. Thank you. Eight dollars for Tanya. We need nine dollars or more. 
Jeff, you're a little bit behind, Tanya. $9 or more on the double Bromo pickup. Lag, Chrissy. Corey's at 10 We need $11 or more. $11 or more on the double Bromo seltzer. I checked if you, some of these bottles, some of the Bromos have Z's backwards. With how you all worked at this. So these are bottles that we've dug or collected um, from other, you know, uh, collections or, or uh, like Goodwills and stuff like that, thrifting. You know, we've just amassed a pretty big collection. Susie, send your lag again. I'm sorry, I, I didn't see it on time. All right, that's lag time. We need 11 or more. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Valerie sneaking in at 12. $12 to Valerie on the double Bromo. Go pick up, Valerie. Man, you're going to have a heavy box. Yeah, very nice. If you guys do want to send your lag on the next bottle run, give us one second. Oh, yeah, I'll meet her right here. Yeah, we can meet you at, at uh I think minutes. she I think she hopped off, but yeah, we'll definitely up, we'll definitely uh meet you. If you go to the last one, give up the last tab, it's the Excel sheet. Yeah, that's right. So promos. Twelve dollars to Valerie. Alright guys. Nice pickup, Val. Yeah, good stuff. We've got a beautiful, very, very clean uh, Lydia Pinkham's Vegetable Compound. It does have one fish eye out of the lip right here. But other than that, it has no damage. This is a run in the back of it. It's not damaged. That was just in the mold. It's got slight case wear right here. But other than that, it's a very clean, very good-looking bottle. Has 14 and a half ounces. Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound. Can you explain what that is? You, I, I don't quite know too much about it. If uh, Oh, it was used for menstrual. Uh, women's menstrual. Oh, so like a stomach soothing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so vegetable compound. It was used as a... Uh, as like a, a, a stomach bitters type. Is it all the way zoomed out? Let's see if we can... Get this guy up. Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. All right. Lydia Pinkham's are pretty common, but like I said, this is a very good example of one. It's very clean, besides just the one lip chip in the top. Uh, if you guys want to start it off at three dollars, we'll start it at three, and we can start and run the clock. Is this the one we dug? This is. This was in our last bottle digging video. Um, we pulled it out of, uh, yeah, for lady problems. God bless them. I, I'm glad I'm a guy. <laughs> um, we did find this out of our last, uh, dump dig. Um, most of the stuff that we found was, uh, 1870s to 1910. Good night, Mark. Thank you so much for checking in on us. We really appreciate the support. Uh, hope to see you next time, buddy. Have a good night. $3 on the Lydia Pinkhams. $3 start. As seen on YouTube right here. As seen on YouTube, that's right. You can watch it come out of the ground. $3 start on the Lydia E. Pinkhams. Give it another 10 seconds. Sounds good, Mark. Have a good night, buddy. All right, we'll go ahead and pull the Lydia Pinkums. Keep moving on. Next, we've got a Dr. D. Jane's Tonic Vermifuge from 242 Chester Street or Chest Street. C-H-E-S, and then it's got like a 
Yeah, I guess it would be Chester Street, Philadelphia. It's a machine-made. I think it has like a snap-on cap. Quit making fun of me, guys. I'm laughing at me. I can't read, all right? <laughs> what? Show, show real quick. No. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. The Dr. Jane's Tonic, tonic Vermifuge. <laughs> like I said, it's a machine made, probably 18 or uh, 1900 to 1915. Beautiful aqua med. A little bit of rust on it, but other than that, no damage. Get a $3 start. I tried doing some research on these. Comic relief in the background is all. Yeah, we're. I'll tell you what, we are having a blast tonight. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna look forward to it every month. I'm. I'm Looking happy. To beating you at dark, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hang out later. We'll start it at one. Run the clock at one dollar. We're gonna have some fun later tonight, for sure. Do a light show on this one. It's a nice little icy blue color on this yeah, one. Yeah, cool. Shut that one off. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> it looks good. It does look oh, good. Yeah. yeah. A light show made a difference for Tony. Oh, yeah. She, she outbid herself. $3. Make sure if you guys want to... It's a uh, Dr... D. Jane's Tonic Vermifuge, 242 Chester Street, Philadelphia. Yeah, we. I would love to have Paul up here, man. He, we talked about the uh, $4 to Valerie. We talked about um, the beer cans that he, he's collected and stuff. And Dude, some of those beer cans, they go for $30,000, $40,000. It's ridiculous. $5 to Trav. On the Jane's D Tonic Vermifuge. Trav is uh, a couple seconds ahead of you, Tanya. Make sure you refresh your page. See if we can get a little bit closer. There we go. Need $6 or more. Dr. D Jane's Tonic Vermifuge from Philadelphia. It's cool it even has the street address on it, too. That's... That's pretty neat. I'm sure you could do a lot more research on it, too. Yeah, he does. Yeah, man, those bottle caps, too. He was telling me about that. That's nuts. Yeah, beer cans and bottle caps. That's There's some, there's some money in that, for sure. Ten seconds left on the clock. We need $6 or more. We're on lag time, guys. Five. Four, three, two, one. Valerie gone in for seven dollars again. Man, she is killing it. You can't stop this lady. She's crushing it. Susie, you were a couple seconds out. Make sure you get in on the lag time. Next bottle. So this is for the tonic. What did she get that for? Seven. Seven dollars to Val. All right, guys. Turn the light back on here. Nice bottle, Val. Yeah, good nice stuff, Valerie. Good color, good pickup. All right, how many more do we got? I, I, um, yins are good. Yeah. Okay, I can. Uh, those are good. You can just leave those. Okay. I got three more bottles. And then we're going to do one more coin and bullet. So, we've got a nice little, they call these drum inks. Drum inks. This is a blown and mold version of it. It's got some beautiful whittling on it. It's aqua. Yeah, Mike <laughs> loves ink bottles. Yeah, he, he's gonna, he might log in and bid on it too. <laughs> it is a nice little ink bottle though it is beautiful see how it looks in the light sweet very cool there is no damage on this ink it is very clean light aqua color let's get a 
three dollars start on the aqua ink probably 1890s to 1910 there's no embossing on it but it is a gorgeous little ink Hans is at three dollars we'll go ahead and start it thank you brother Trav's at five we need six dollars or more six dollars or more on the aqua ink Sherry Morgan's at six dollars. Did you guys get a lot of slow, uh, snow, Travis, the other night? I don't think that was for eighty-seven. I don't think that was correct. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can if you want, but yeah, seven. Okay, yeah, seven dollars. We need eight dollars or more. You're locked in, Michelle. Yep. <laughs> what up, Nathan Jones? It's good to see you, man. <laughs> We need eight dollars or more on the aqua ink aqua drum ink 1890s to 1910. six to nine inches that we said eight to nine inches Damn. of snow wow and you guys are gonna try and dig tomorrow you're nuts Where you're even crazier Central, than us Central PA. no they're from Mar uh, excuse me maryland lona coning lona coning maryland that's what it says on all the packages i get from yins <laughs> <laughs> I got my uh, package today, Travis. Yeah. Got my OP, this, so we're this, sitting right next to us. Those things are disgusting. Trying to make some of my money back tonight. Gary <laughs> Bucks at $10. We need $11 or more. Thank you, Gary. 30 seconds left on the clock. $11 or, not, or more. Great looking ink here, guys. It is. Nice, icy blue color. Beautiful. It's got some really beautiful toning on it as well. $11 oh. or more. No. Alright, guys. We're on lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. No other bids. Gary got that at ten dollars. Very nice, there. Gary. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, my man. <laughs> Mike, up. Can you enter this in for yep, me, brother? Yep. Thank you. Nice thing, Gary. Yeah. Start that collection up, Gary. Okay, guys. All right, guys, we have one more of the Paul Jones whiskeys from Louisville, Kentucky. It is another machine made. That one's clean. Yeah, this is a very, very clean version example. It's, it's a light honey amber. Really beautiful. Paul Jones. Thanks, Gary. Have a good night, buddy. Thanks for stopping by, Gary. Appreciate it. Paul Jones Whiskey from Louisville, Kentucky. Light honey. We'll go ahead and start it at $5, guys. $5. But hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, there's more. For an easy payment of... <laughs> I'm also going to throw on, if I can get it out of the bag, a 1941... Mercury Dime. It has no mint on it, but a nice little combo here. We got the silver Mercury Dime and the mini whiskey for five dollars. You cannot beat that. Somebody start me off. Five dollars. Thank you, Jeff. We'll go ahead and run it. Six dollars or more on the 1941 Mercury Dime and Paul Jones. Mini whiskey. Jay Bird's at ten dollars. We need eleven or more. Paul Jones from Louisville, Kentucky. Eleven dollars or more. This is probably the the cleanest of the mini whiskeys that we run tonight. The dime is on top. It's right here. I can set it right there, I guess. If it makes you happy. Mercury Dime, 1941 Mercury Dime, 
and a Honey Amber Paul Jones Whiskey. We need $11 or more. $11 or more. Our lag's about five seconds still. If you guys want to toss in some lag times to check it, check your lag. We need $11 or more, Tanya, $11 or more. Lag, Susie. 40 seconds left on the clock. We need $11 or more. Lag, Kirsten. 30 seconds left on the clock. 1941 Mercury Dime and Paul Jones Sample Whiskey. You're welcome, Susie. Thank you for coming out tonight. We really appreciate it. Ten seconds left on the clock. Make sure you guys get your bids in. Mercury Dime and Mini Whiskey. We're on lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. Kirsten got that at $12. Paul, you were a couple of seconds behind. Nice pickup, Kirsten. Good stuff. Dime and... Twelve dollars to Kirsten. Alrighty, guys. Nice pickup, Kirsten. Yeah, good job. This is gonna be my last bottle of the night, and then I'm gonna do one more coin lot after that. This is probably my favorite bottle that I brought. It is a. I'm fairly certain this is British. Uh, poisonous, not to be taken. It's a ribbed poison rather than a stippled one oh well glad you're back 18 bees you're you're just in time for the last bottle brother <laughs> we got a beautiful aqua poison here i don't know if anyone could correct me but i'm fairly certain this is british um it's a poison poisonous not to be taken all right Let's get this at a $10 start. $10 start for the poison. Spicy blue again? That's different. $10 for Jeff. We'll go ahead and start it. Yeah, it's a very cool bottle. Very cool. Did you do that one, James? No, no. I got this in, out of a collection. Light, light show. This one, the height... The height on this is six inches, a little under six inches. Yeah. Eleven dollars to eighteen bees. We need twelve dollars or more. Paul's at twelve. Get a little light show on this. Oh yeah. Eighteen bees has a five dollar off coupon. <laughs> yeah, eighteen bees. We still got your five dollar credit, brother. Chrissy, you're a couple seconds behind Paul's. 18 Bs is at $14. He kicked it up now. He forgot. <laughs> $14. We need 15 or more. 15 or more for the poison. Lag, Paul. One minute left on the clock, guys. You don't want to let this one slip by. Poisonous not to be taken. Beautiful little bottle. Aqua ribbed poison. Paul is at 15. We need $16 or more. 16 more on the poison. Keep lagging. Yeah, keep sending in those lags so that we can see how much lag time you have. 18 bees is at 16. We need 17 or more. It's about, it's just under six inches, Kirsten. Fifteen seconds to go on the clock. Lag, Paul. We need sixteen or more. Lag, lag, Crick Diggers. Seventeen for Chrissy. She's right ahead of you, Paul. All right, guys, we're on lag time. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Valerie, you got that at 23. Heck yeah. Susie, you're a couple seconds behind. Very nice score. That thing is beautiful. $23 to Val. Very nice. Sherry, you were about five seconds behind. Very nice pickup. Beautiful. All right, guys, that was my last bottle, but I'm going to do another coin and relic run. I'm going to do the rest, the rest of the coins that I brought. All right, so far we got another three ringer. Thank you, Trav. We really appreciate it, man. We, we, you know, really appreciate your support and, and just uh, helping us out. Any questions we had, we really appreciate it, brother. Couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, honestly, we couldn't have. So we got a three ringer. We got a bunch of coins here. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna like this one. All right, we got three, three buffalo head nickels. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get this to stop spinning. There we go. All right, three Indian head or, or buffalo head nickels. It looks like all the dates were worn off of them. Unfortunately, we got one. One Mercury Dime, one, two, three, Roosevelt Silver Dimes, as well as a Barber Dime. So we got the whole trifecta. We got the Barber Dime, the Mercury Dime, and the Roosevelt dime, all of them silver, 90% silver. And then we've got three Indian head pennies. So this is a big old lot. The dates on the Indian head pennies. Oh, sorry for the shaky camera, guys. It looks to be uh, 1890s. No, no, I've got a bunch of coins. <laughs> 1896 and 18 or er, in 1906. The Barber Dime is 1903. The Mercury is 1942 it looks like or 45 and then the three Roosevelts are 47, 47 and 53. And then three Buffalo Head Nickels and a three ringer. Heck yeah, Corey. They are some of the best supporters in the hobby. Much respect to them. All right, guys. We got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 coin with one three-ringer Civil War bullet. Sherry, that seems like a great start. $20. Let's go ahead and run it. We need $21 or more. Send in your lag times, guys, just so we can get a double check on it. Heck yeah, man. We really appreciate it, Trav. All the love. We got five silver dimes. Trav's at $25. Three Indian head pennies and three buffalo head nickels and one three ringer. Lag, Tanya. Five silver dimes. Lag, Susie. We need $26 or more. This is the last round run of the night, guys. $28 for Sherry Morgan. We need $29 or more. $29 or more for the six, seven, eight. I keep losing count. Eight second lag for you, okay? So make sure you send it in before that eight seconds hits. If you want to get in on that snipe. $35 for Chrissy Rigney. We need 36 or more. Five silver dimes. We got the silver dime trifecta, barber dime, mercury dime, and Roosevelt silver dime. 36 or more. Coming up on 35 seconds. These th three ringers are amazing pieces of history, too. Nothing in the base but it's a beautiful drop. 
36 or more. 20 seconds left on the clock. Last bit, last run of the night, guys. 10 seconds left on the clock. 45 for Kirsten. All right. We're running into lag time. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Kirsten for $45. Good pickup. That is an awesome lot. Very nice. Beautiful. Nice pickup here. Yeah, very nice. We'll get that entered in. Coin lot. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's see how we do this here. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, guys. We had an absolute blast tonight. Thank you so much for helping us out on our first auction. We definitely are looking forward to our next one. We'll do a monthly auction. It most likely will be around the same time of the month. Um, so, but we'll, we'll try and work it in on a Friday when Crick Diggers don't have there. Susie says introduce ourselves. Yeah, so my name is James. I'm Mike. I'm Tyler. And that's Tyler, and we, we are the, uh, the Copper Poppers. Minus one. Minus yeah. one, yeah. <laughs> Tyler's brother, Brendan, also digs with us. He's a part of the Copper Poppers. Copper um, Banks right yeah man if you guys want to check out our videos uh check out our, our our videos on our youtube page we found some really amazing stuff um and then you can also bid on some of the bottles that we dug so it's pretty awesome yeah. and uh now that we see you know obviously there's some interest we'll we'll definitely be having some even better bottles next time for next month guys yeah so. we'll get some local pittsburgh bottles in for sure we really want to thank everybody again and uh, everybody who supports us and our friends that come in and it means a lot to us. We appreciate it. Heck yeah. Thank you so much, guys, and have a good night. Thanks, everybody. Let's get some move. <laughs> How do you shut this thing off? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>